What's going on everyone? It's Abdallah here, bringing you guys a first look at Dauntless on Nintendo Switch. Super excited for it. Uh, Shoutouts to my friends over at Epic Games and of course uh, the developers. They hooked me up with an early build of it. But this game is actually available for all of you guys to download and play along with for free. It's a free to play game that you guys can hang out with. So uh, in case you guys have never heard of Dauntless before, I would say, honestly, it's like uh, Capcom's Monster Hunter meets Fortnite, where there's a lot of cool things that you can do, uh, such as like emotes and uh, all sorts of uh, interesting things. But it's a, it's a hack and slash um, RPG, online action RPG. It, it's actually really fun. I've been playing it for a couple hours off screen. So we're not necessarily going to start from the very beginning or the tutorial. We're just going to jump in and see if you guys can join up with some raids. So use the link in the description below to download the game and play along with. If you don't have Nintendo Switch, you guys can absolutely use your Xbox, your PC, or your PlayStation 4. It is cross-platform play, which is super fun. So if you like any of those games like Monster Hunter, Fortnite, you're going to be right at home with this one. And I've got my cat Enzo... Benjamin, you okay, buddy? Okay, anyway. All right, anyway, uh, give me a show of hands in the comments if you guys have downloaded the game, just so I know that we can expect you, and uh, that would be really fun to actually play online and do some raids with you guys. But uh, nonetheless, not really sure how the matchmaking works in the game, since I was playing on a build where you couldn't necessarily play with people online yet. But yeah, I'm ready to show you guys what this game's all about. So if you guys are excited for it, definitely smash the like button, share the video with a friend, and of course, um, download the game, play along with, right? So, uh, we can do a whole bunch of things. We can do some neutral uh, behemoths over here. We can do the lesser quill shot. There's a lot of different uh, monsters that I have right now available to me in order to beat up. And of course, as you beat up more monsters, you're going to get a lot more um, parts. And you can use those parts to fuse weapons, armors, helmets... Uh, all sorts of cool stuff. So uh, I'm down for anything. You guys let me know in the comments what kind of monster you guys want to see. And we'll absolutely do it. We got Neutral, Blaze, Frost, or Shock. There's a, a couple different ones. Blaze is going to be a level 1. It's going to be super easy to do. Frost Behemoths, the ones that I have, are level 2. And then, of course, we've got 1 to 3. So, yeah, let me know. Let me know. It's, uh, it's absolutely a free game. It will cost you nothing. It'll cost you nothing to download it and play along with. So it's going to be really great. So, all right. You guys going to go blaze? All right, we're going to go blaze. So this means that uh, we are going to uh, fight a fast and ferocious behemoth that is not yet fed on enough blaze aether to unleash fiery attacks to those who hunt it. A lesser ember main. Okay, cool. So we're going to do that. And we're going to start the hunt. And I don't know. Oh, yeah, we can matchmake over here too. So while we're waiting for matches to make, we got so many different weapons and things that we can do, um, such as uh, equipping all of our stuff, right? I've got a Thundering Scythe over here. I've been actually messing around with all sorts of different weapons. Now, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven different kinds of weapons in the game, so it's not super intimidating. I know that other monster hunting games have like 20 different weapons and you'd never know, but no, this game is very accessible uh, when you think about it. So, what do you guys wanna see? We can show you guys some blades. Uh, we can show you guys a pike. I don't have any guns yet. Uh, so I either have the pike, the blades, the hammer, the axe, or the sword. I got I got a whole bunch of things. So anyway, let's see what's going on. Uh, I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna skip matchmaking for now because I don't know if uh, anyone's actually looking for some stuff. So I'm gonna skip that and then we're just gonna fight solo it. So yeah, it's up to you guys. Uh, and look, we got people actually running around in the uh, in the town square over here. So that's gonna be pretty interesting. All right. Yeah, yeah, super cool. Brayden Evans, hey, what's going on? Just rewatched Fire Emblem Awakening playthrough. Uh, love your videos. Oh, dude, Awakening so old. I don't know how you managed to sit through that. <laughs> but thank you so much, Brayden Evans, man. Hey, here we go. Match found. I don't know what match found means, but does that mean that we have someone that's going to be uh, fighting along with us? I don't know. We're going to go now. Whatever. All right. Download the game. Maybe you have a chance of raiding with me. It'll be pretty cool. And the tutorial is like super easy. You like you run through, you beat up a couple moblins or whatever, little goblin dudes, and then you knock them out. But Dauntless does indeed take uh, a little while to download. So it's a big file, but you know what? Whatever. Once you have it, you have it. 
So, uh, yeah, so this is, I don't necessarily have any frost weapons to use against this guy, but you guys can see, I love this little access panel. It says, look, your weapon power right now with your current equips is 100 out of the 50 recommended. So I'm like double powered. And then armored power is 140, so that's really good. I'm gonna press ZR, and we're just gonna jump into it. I don't really care if I'm not able to find this dude uh, or another person to play right now, but I'll show you guys how the how the game runs so that you guys can kind of look at it, give it a shot off screen, download it and play along with. It's gonna be pretty cool. Oh, thanks. You guys like the haircut? Yeah, super short. I told uh, I told the hairstylist lady that uh, I'm gonna come back and once we had 500 members, we're at 410 right now. Once we have 500 members, I'm gonna come back for uh, <laughs> for a dyed hair blue. And she's like, oh, I can't wait. Uh, and I said, all right, cool, let's go. All right, so you guys can see here I'm running. Oh, and here's this monster. All right, so we see our monster right now. Uh, this is the monster that we're gonna be fighting. The Y button is for basic attacks. The really, really um, quick attacks. And then the... Oh my gosh, the X button is for stronger attacks. And then you have two meters on top. Ooh, you got two meters on top, which is going to be the um, the health meter, which is the green one. And you have a stamina meter, which is going to be the yellow one. And of course, you use stamina every time you're running with your weapon out. You use stamina every time you're like breaking um, all these crazy different attacks. And yeah, you can go from there. So this is gonna be pretty interesting. So I'm just like spamming the Y button here for some light attacks. And then what's interesting about these monsters is that you can indeed break off parts. See, look, I got an achievement that says break off five parts. All right, let me see. I've never used this item before, this ax before. So this is gonna be interesting to me. Oh, maybe I have. Okay, so, all right, so there's a couple things happening over here. Now, I'm not an expert at this game by any means, so if any of you guys want to jump on in and tell me a little bit more to teach us and the entire Dauntless community, feel free to do so. Um, but what I've ascertained from playing off screen is that you can dodge with the A button, which is pretty cool, you can dodge out of the way, use a little bit of stamina. Uh, you can jump with the B button. Of course, individual controls may vary from different characters. And, oh man! And uh, if you're running low on health, you can uh, sheath your weapon, you can run over to this thing, and you can start like absorbing some of this energy in order to get free health. Which is pretty cool, but of course you gotta keep yourself uh, clear from the other monster. So I'm gonna grab this, we're gonna get back up to full, we're gonna take all this health, and then we're gonna, we're gonna continue on. Ooh! Now I do have five of the potions, oh my goodness, I've got five potions available. In case I want to use them for like, shotgunning your health really quick. <clears throat> Alright, pretty cool. So what we're gonna do right now is he's gonna be running. You can get like a special hit stun on him. If you hit him while he's charging at you, which is kind of cool. So right now with this axe, I could throw it forward. <clears throat> and I could do some work with it. So that's what pressing R does. Uh, whenever you press the L button, you have a little bit of a shield that you can use, which is kind of cool. Uh, it gives you like a little bit of protection on uh, this stuff, but you know unlike other monster hunting games You can actually see this this monster's HP in the top left corner, which is real cool I gotta think oh man, I wish I could map Dodge to a different button. So he's only have one. He's only got one heart left. So this is not too bad I think I'm gonna knock him out really easily Okay, so done. That's it. So hunt two behemoths with any axe, and then of course we're going to get a whole bunch of different uh, loot drops, uh, depending on if you chopped off his tail or hit a piece of his head or something like that. There's a lot of things that I've kind of learned about in this game. And like I said earlier, I'm brand new to this, and there's a, there's a whole bunch of intricacies about this game that you guys will come to realize. So, <clears throat> super cool, man. Super cool. So this is this is like a four minute hunt. You guys can see over here that uh, you get a whole bunch of loot and it's like Fortnite where they have a battle pass, but they call it a hunt pass in this game where uh, if you have the hunt pass, you can get even more rewards. And that's kind of where the free to play 
versus, um, you know, pay to play kind of uh, draws the line on that stuff. And of course, Behemoth Mastery, we're going to get a little experience points, defeat that guy 10 amount of times, and you're going to get something. And of course, you're going to leave the hunt and go accordingly. So it's a lot of cool things, man. A lot of cool things. Uh, so yeah, download the game. Let's play. <clears throat> Uh, there is absolutely an offline mode. Yeah, I was playing it yesterday, and uh, I believe, yeah, I would say so. I don't know if it's 100% online connected. I guess hook it up without your internet on and see what happens. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can, but, you know, don't quote me on that. Again, first time really playing it for an audience over here. So, I like it. I think that um, that you can get a lot out of this game from not spending a single dime on it. And I think that that's great, dude. Like, <laughs> the amount of time that I spent over here, you'd pay like 60 bucks for a Nintendo Switch release that's very similar to it. I think it's awesome. Anyway, uh, so that was that battle. I'm not really sure where we're going as far as a story mode. Uh, you guys can see that the, the Nintendo Switch frame rate is a little choppy, but you know what? It works and... Um, I guess maybe because I'm in like some sort of online play right now. So let's kind of show you guys what's going on inside the city over here. I don't know too much of what's happening in the actual storyline of the game. All I know is that like I want to go hunt some monsters. So that's kind of why I'm doing this. So in 25 meters, there's something uh, going on. Maybe this way if I go. Oh, someone with an exclamation mark. Yeah, Katarin Sorrel. Let's talk to Katarin. Okay, prove to Cat Sorrel that you can handle the many responsibilities of the Slayer. Achieve Slayer level 3, hunt a Skarn, complete the middleman's quest, Man in the Middle, complete Boson's quest, The Amateur Alchemist. I will absolutely do that. So you've proven you can handle behemoths that feed on elemental aether, so keep at it. Build your mastery by hunting Terra feeding Skarn. You should be able to talk to Boson Marcus about the useful supplies and definitely pay a visit to the middleman. Alright, so we got the Skarn hunt unlocked. And Weapon Mastery cards are also there. So now, if you press the R button, you can see kind of what quests are available in the top uh, top right-hand corner of the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go hunt a Skarn really quick. Not really sure what a Skarn is, but this will be my first time doing it. And you can see all these, uh, these online players over here. So let's go over. Uh, this is going to be the board where you're going to find all sorts of different monsters. So hold the B button on it, and then we're going to go to Pursuit. We're going to go to Terra Behemoths, and I'm going to go for the Skarn. And uh, I'll give it a couple seconds to matchmake. If one of you guys is online, then I believe that it's going to uh, potentially match up with one of us. Now, trust me, this game just came online at the time of recording, um, at least an hour ago. So some of you guys downloaded it as soon as they saw the Indies uh, presentation on uh, Nintendo's channel. Uh, give me a thumbs up in the chat if you guys saw the Nindies presentation. I haven't seen it yet, but I heard that that was uh, announced over here. So there's your match, Megan. I'll do that for another couple seconds, but it looks like our armor power is not that great. So I'm going to press the plus button. We're going to go over to equipment. Uh, I'm going to take a look at armor and see if I have anything better. And I honestly don't. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to knock this guy out. But with the armor, you can craft it and you can upgrade it to make it even stronger. So it'll be pretty cool. I think I'll be fine. But uh, I think what we should do is we should use a different weapon. And I'll, I'll try to show off all the weapons for sure. So that's a Thundering Scythe. Um, I'll do the Ember Blades. Yeah, you know what? I like the blades. The blades are real cool. So Ember Blades are like a dual blade. Where uh, you, it's pretty much like up front and personal. And then you can use these blades from a distance a little bit there. I think it's going to be really interesting. So anyway, I'm going to skip the matchmaking for now. Uh, and then we are going to skip that and then hopefully go from there. But if you guys want to see a specific weapon, let me know after this, and then I'll show you guys what the weapons are. And uh, like I said, I haven't found a weapon that I really, really, really like because I haven't tried the guns yet, but the guns look pretty fun. Anyway, so we're going to find a server. Uh, yeah, preparing the hunt. Yeah, it's going to be a minute. So anyway, let's look around. There's some other things that you can do. Like if you find these little rings, the daily hero rings, there's 10 of them just kind of floating around the town. So you can find those little things and then, um, and then go from there. I don't know what happens when you collect them all, to be honest, but we'll be departing in 26 seconds. So whatever I could find, uh, that'll be super cool. And then, uh, how many guys have an Epic Games account from Fortnite? 
let me know in the comments. If you guys have an Epic Games account, you can connect your Epic Games account and then all of your Epic Games friends and they'll be on your friends list, which is super fun. So you guys can see over here that uh, you can do party invites. Oh gosh, I should not have done that. Or maybe we're departing, I don't know. But you have the whole Epic Games account on the side and if you have Fortnite friends and they also play this, you can send them an invite, which is kind of cool. And there's full on voice chat in the game too. I mean, I won't use voice chat for obvious reasons on YouTube, but if you wanna just chill and do some voice chat while hunting with different people, go for it. All right, so looking at my loadout, I'm 140 out of 150. So I'm kind of under prepared for this battle. We're gonna try our best. It'll be a struggle for sure because it's a one person hunt. Uh, but hey, you know what? We'll give it a shot. Okay. And then right behind me, there's like a whole chat section. You can actually type things into a chat and talk to people, which is also pretty cool. Anyway, uh, so right off the bat, uh, I guess we're gonna be running around and uh, finding stuff. Now you have infinite stamina while you're running without your item or without your weapon equipped. And then whenever you see these blue wisps, they give you a little bit more speed. And if you press the B button next to these mushrooms, you can pick those up. I honestly have not figured out um, what those mushrooms and oh yeah oh my gosh <laughs> what the mushrooms and all these other little items do I haven't figured out like the whole crafting thing about the game yet but you can walk around the entire area and uh, potentially uh, find a whole bunch of cool stuff and what's cool about this is that you don't get hurt from heights which is also really cool so you can go really really high up and not die from heights uh, just like in Fortnite like Fortnite you can die from heights and you're just eliminated or whatever so anyway, uh, is that the monster? No, I saw something. Well, there's, oh, what the? Oh man, that's cool. That That's cool. I did not expect that monster to be there. All right, well, uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, so what the what these blades are is that you can use them from long range, which is pretty cool. Uh-huh. You can use them from long range, kind of like this. Let's see. Let's see what I got here. I, I'm doing pretty decent so far. Oh, man. I just fell down. Okay. I need to, I need to maybe get out of here. Hello? Run. Okay. I need to... Hold on. Let me just, let me just heal up a little bit here. Seems like he's letting me. I don't know if this is a mount or what. I don't think I should have been up there. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you guys can see here that I'm, I don't know. So what's interesting about the these like dual blades over here is that you can fill up a little R meter and then whenever you fill up this R meter you can kind of jump back and you can use like a little super move on it. So if you jump back and then use the stronger of the super moves you're gonna do like a spin slam which is real cool. All right, here we go. Yo, this dude just healed up. How am I gonna beat this guy? I don't think I can. Oh, I didn't know I can get interrupted in my animation. That stinks. All right, so maybe there's something I'm not really... Oh, look, okay. So whenever he's doing that... Yeah, no. Okay. So you can tell when he's uh, about to get... Uh, like, you can stun him just based off of... The little, like, little exclamation marks next to his head. I'm getting run the heck over and I'm about to die. So let's do this. I'm going to use my emergency potion. We're going to tap L to do emergency um, that thing. And I'm going to use two of my potions. Okay, so we're back at full. Let's see what we can do against this guy.
There's gotta be a way that I can get him without those rocks, right? Or when he's standing up like this? Oh my gosh. Alright. I will figure out this monster. Oh! Whoa! Hey! Hey! Yeah, I don't know how to escape that, but I'm about to die. Yeah, see, like, I, I need I need teammates, man. Who's gonna bail me out? Who's gonna play this game and bail me out here? Look, and see that, like, exclamation mark over there? Dude, I clearly pressed the dodge button, but sure, whatever. I don't know, man. <laughs> Alright, here we go. His little armor is off. Maybe I need to just break the armor when he takes it off? I don't know. And now he's got like red, uh, uh, red flames all over him. So he seems to be powered up. Yeah! Got him right in the head! Big slam! Love that! Okay. And we're just about dead! <sighs> Help me! Oh, 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 oh! Okay, okay, here we go. He's coming. That's obviously he's gonna slam down, right? Okay, so it's it's all about learning the patterns too, right? Man! Yo, your boy's doing rock slide, and I'm dead. Okay. One of the things I don't know about in this game is once you're done with the little uh, health reserves and you've already used them, where in the world are you getting more health from? So anyone that plays Dauntless, please inform me. Like, there's got to be a way of, like, crafting these little things into food because I have 13 health. There's got to be some sort of way of doing it. No clue. And where did the monster go? Oh, he's here still. Oh, he turns into rocks, right? He like hides? Okay, so if I hold the L button, you can kind of see where the monster goes with these little, um, little light elemental things. Like you can see which direction the monster went. Okay, so you, some of you guys are saying, um, uh, you should be able to use the things you collect, just pick up everything you find. I don't know, man. <laughs> From what I played off screen, like, it's, n even if I'm picking up these things here, like, it's not, it's not like, hmm, I'm gonna eat a mushroom and, like, get your health back. No, that's not how it plays. So, I got him to half health and I used all of my stuff. So this is, like you can tell, like I went into the battle not ready for it, when in fact I should have been crafting elemental items that were a lot better for the character. So anyway, no clue where this monster is. And that's kind of the thing too, like other monsters, other behemoths, you guys can find just out outlying. But now not so much. And I was just over here. I just had to run away to get a... It said it fled? So what happens now? Do I quit the hunt? Yeah, I don't know. Again, playing the game blind. So, like, if it fl if it flees, then why wouldn't you automatically go back to the, um, 
to the town. It probably fled to like another area. And you can come over here and you guys can pick up some of this stuff too. Uh, I'm kind of dead anyway. And like, I did not, I wasn't ready for this hunt. Really, I wasn't. So uh, let's see, quit to title screen we can go. Yeah, we're gonna quit to title screen. Because <laughs> I straight died. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right, so I wanna rematch that guy. I want to rematch him. Um, I'll play him again with the dual blades or like, I keep calling them dual blades. They're clearly not. They're different branded here. Um, so I'm thinking maybe if I find something that's super effective against him and I get an armor that allows me to take more hits, I think I should be all set. And I've got a lot of rams, which is the in-game currency. So I've got a lot of that from the previous quest. So let's kind of forge some stuff and see if we could beat him. All right, I see a lot of you guys downloading the game, which is gonna be super fun. We'll be playing this for a couple hours, so download it now and uh, get on board with it. It's gonna be pretty cool. All right, all right. Let's see what we got here. So what do you think of it so far? Give me your first impressions. I went into a super easy behemoth and knocked him out very simply. And then I went into a relatively hard one and struggled a little bit there. All right, anyway. So we're gonna go over there. I'm going to, I'm gonna set the hunt and then hopefully someone can join up with me. Cause I gotta get this thing. All right, hold B, here we go. We're gonna go pursuit. We're gonna go Terra behemoths. And it says shock weapons do super effective and Terra armor are going to be the best. So I'm gonna start the hunt uh, and then I'm gonna go find these weapons, right? So get some Terra armor. This uh, lady over here does the armors. So if you come on over, you can hold me and talk to her. And then there's some Terra armor. Quill shot. You know, I don't think I can. Power versus that dark scale helmet. I don't know. Is this considered Terra armor? Jurassic? Embermain. Fiery helm. I don't know. Quill shot. Maybe I have to beat one up first in order to get him going. So. All right. So that's that. Let's head on over here to uh, Will's Borman. And this guy is the one that um, sells me some uh, electrical items. So I can do the Thundering Cutters, which is 180. I could totally craft these, these Thundering Cutters. I like them. They're very fast. They're furious. And then you can upgrade them too, simply by holding the A button as well. It'll cost me seven of the electric thing and 40 of this thing. So I can upgrade them a little bit. So we got some Thundering Cutters. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna do another upgrade. So now I have three, There, I did a plus three. So this should be good as far as uh, the amount of power. Let's just go, oh, I can't upgrade anymore. Dang. All right, so that's fine. Oh, and then I could have equipped them from that menu there, I didn't realize. So let's go over to equipment. We're gonna go over to Ember Blades. We're gonna take these off. I'm gonna use the, uh, the Thunder, Thundering Cutters. I'm gonna put a Technique Cell on it, why not? Uh, power cell, I've got um, percent increase to stagger damage, part damage, sure, let's do that. And then no mods. All right, so these little cells that you can equip onto them are just things that you find in the wild and from hunts. So if you get them, you can absolutely do uh, some additional work on it. But I have a feeling like I need, uh, I need a little bit more I need a little bit more like armor, man. Like my armor is kind of garbage. Anyway, let's see what we got over here. Currently equipped, Drac Power Versus. Like this is decent. Drac Scale Helmet. What do you guys say? Should we just make this whole set? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so we got a Dras Drask Sail Helmet. Uh, I'm gonna do the, oh, I can't craft this because I don't have the stuff. All right, well. Yeah, I got the helmet, so I might as well put it on, right? Can I equip it from this menu? Yeah, I can. So I think I'm good. Like, I wish I can, let's upgrade it. I'll upgrade it again. Yep, 
Yeah, I'll give it a level three. No, I don't have a level three. All right, that's fine, whatever. Okay, so we are currently preparing for the hunt. And uh, from, from the looks of it, my armor power is 125. That's not good at all. I thought I'd be way better off. Okay, let's see. Equipment. Oh, who's this? Yo, is that another guy with me? What is this, slot one? What is that? Oh, I can have different slots of like loadouts. Oh, that's actually really cool. I didn't even realize you could do that. All right, anyway. Uh, so yeah, thundering covers, we got this helmet. Uh, yeah, and then consumables. Equip a consumable idol to bring it into battle. I don't have any yet, but I have a Slayer flask and that's really all I got. All right, so let's see what we got. <laughs> let's see what we got here. Um, giving it a shot on uh, one of the harder bosses, according to the main story, and we'll see what we got. Download the game. Play along with. All right, where are your downloads at? You guys at 100%? You guys going through the tutorial? Yo, I got another a player here. This is great. Oh, this is awesome. I got someone named Arctic Carnage, a seasoned hunter. Someone that's playing on PC right now. That's cool, dude. Man, all right, this is like, other than playing Fortnite, this is really cool, like playing cross-platform. I think that's really interesting to me. All right, let's go. Dang! Yo, we're gonna beat this guy in no time now. Yo, two people. And you can like send flares and do like little emotes and whatnot whenever you find the monster, which is pretty cool. So let's get to the high ground, am I right? And let's take a look. I'm gonna use my compass right now. So that he's he's this way. You can see where the, the wind is kind of pushing those little things. Okay, so I'm kind of in the right realm. I don't have my, oh, my compass anymore, but I see my guy. Yeah, what's up? Yo, hey. This is awesome! All right, where'd you go? I'm just grabbing some stuff. Like, I don't honestly know what any of this, this ore or the materials do, but um, yeah, I'm gonna pick it up. <laughs> this guy's like, yo, dude, look at this noob. <laughs> oh, dang, he's already there. I'm coming, I'm coming. I got a little bit of uh, experience against this guy. I wish I can aim that a little bit better, that little slam thing. There we go, it did something. This electricity stagger though? Hold on, did you see me stagger this guy? And we're breaking everything. Yeah, let's go big slam. Oh dude, so awesome, let's go. That's so much fun to do, just jump up in the air.
Okay. Getting rocked here a little bit. I won't die. Now that I got a partner helping me out with this, heck yeah. Nice. I'm like chomping away at his tail here. It's like he's kind of like turtling up right now. Three fifty, big damage. Dude, this is awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, rolled right under me. He's at his last little health bar. It's so much cooler with more people, dude. Yo, yes. I don't know if you get anything from doing cool stuff to him afterwards, but we just slain the Skarn with the help of Arctic whoever. <laughs> Your rank, C. Aww. <laughs> Team rank, S++. Cool, man. Round of applause. So take a look at the uh, the rewards we got here. We got some rock scales, 200 rams, which is what we need, right? We got some break parts over here. So we can use these parts for different, I guess, like armors and weapons and stuff like that. Yeah, super cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, right? That was so much fun. Dude, I love, I love these like dual blade things. They're just so cool. You can attack from uh, really up close and start shredding. And then you press the R button to like jump back and then do this crazy swirl attack. Whew. Super fun. Yeah, so quickly download the game, play through the tutorial, and let's do this because uh, it is super fun. There's a download link in the description if you have Xbox, PlayStation 4, PC, whatever. It's on cross-platform. Imagine. Imagine if Mario Kart was on cross-platform. What a concept, huh? What a concept. Wouldn't that be insane? All right. So what we did, complete the middleman's quest, man in the middle. Complete the bosun's quest, the amateur uh, uh, alchemist. Uh, here's bosun, so let's take a look. Ready for a fight? Oh, okay. This is good. Gather uh, alchemical uh, regions in field and, uh, and test helpful tonics. All right, craft two blitz tonics with bosun. Equip a blitz tonic on your loadout. Okay, this is what we were talking about. Okay, uh... Craft something called a Blitz Tonic, uh, grab the Regents, uh, equip the bi uh, Blitz Tonic. All right, here we go. So this is more along the lines of like, hey, we got four loadouts on screen in the middle of battle, so let's make a tonic to get ourselves a little bit better. All right, you can craft the tonics, get the recipes. Here we go, crafting, Blitz Tonic. Uh, I'm going to, yeah, it does uh, increase attack speed based on health missing for 60 seconds. That's really cool. And I have 24 dash leaves and 26 um, wrath warts. So I'm going to craft one. Uh, I'm going to craft two. I'll, I'll get like five of them, right? Let's hold on to five because that's going to be boosting our attack speed. Why not? All right, so we did that. What else? That's all? Uh, equip a blitz tonic in your loadout. So I think you go to equipment, uh, you go over to consumables, you equip the blitz tonic right here. Dang, okay, this is actually pretty accessible. Return to Bosun, and then now he tells you, hey, heads up, uh, bulwark tonic. 
So create two of them and then equip them. All right, so let's do it. Catch you later. All right, so he says that's really awesome. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. So let's go to equipment. We're gonna go over to consumables. I'm gonna put this here. Blitz tonic bulwark reduces damage taken by 45 percent for the next three hits. Eh, why the heck not? That's awesome. Make it a little bit more bulky. All right, so other than that, I need some more health tonics if possible, but whatever. I'll craft a couple more of these. You can only bring three of them um, on your quests. So you might as well have six of them and you're good to go. All right, complete the middleman's quest, man in the middle. So that's somewhere uh, nearby. So let's kind of run around and see where that is. And then we're going to jump in. Is this the middleman? Hey, right here. Perfect. Yo, it's Master Chief. All right, meet the middleman and learn how cells can enhance your gear. Infuse any cell into any piece of crafted gear. All right, so I've I've kind of done that. Where if you take a look at the uh, the different like cells that you have, and you could put them into your gear to give you like different stat boosts and whatnot. Like I've done that before. Uh, so yeah. So I've done that. So, and he gave me some more cells to do. So now that we've done that, we're going to go to Catter and Sorel. And we did her entire quest. And we learned a little bit more about the game. And I was curious about that. Okay. So this one is uh, the next one. Achieve Slayer number four. Slayer level number four. Hunt a Shrike. Craft one of the Lanterns. Craft a Skarn's Defiance and a Shrike's Zeal and complete this quest. So they're all pretty easy stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's go do that. Okay, so we got the Shrike Hunt unlocked. Whoa. M weapon Mastery cards available. So let's go hunt a Shrike. Let's go hunt a Shrike. All right, let's see. I'm going to put the hunt up. Those of you guys want to join it, feel free. Uh, Shrike time. Here we go. So we can use anything. But, like, my weapon power and my armor is really weak sauce. So now that I put the hunt up, I'm going to take a look at some more armor and see if I can get something new. Drask, Quill Shot. I mean, I've got some of this stuff. Yeah, we can go Skarn, which is pretty cool. Uh, ooh, this ice one is actually really awesome. Like, I have them. Okay, 10% of health shields applied to you are also applied to your nearest ally for 10 seconds. Okay, so there's some passives. Interesting. So this one is... When under, deal five more damage. When under health, deal more damage. This one's uh, lantern charge from attacks. I don't really know what lanterns are, but I'm pretty sure we're going to learn about them soon. After dodging. Oh, dang, look at those. Ember main reduces fire, quill shot, wound damage. Oh, man. All right. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with... 10% of your health shields applied to you are also applied to your nearest ally. That's kind of cool. Yeah, you know what? I'll I'll buy this whole set, right? So let's craft... No, you know, Skarn? Yeah, I don't know. I don't have too much of it. Okay, so we're departing soon, so I better figure something out. All right, we're going to go Drask. Lantern charge from attacks. And I can't craft that, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to go Skarn Helmet. We're going to go uh, Skarn that, Heart of Stone. We're going to go this thing. And we're going to go full of, full on Skarn gear. And then I think if I upgrade this, 50% to max health. Ooh! Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh. I guess that's kind of cool, right? You load up the hunt at the beginning, and then you kind of upgrade your stuff while you're waiting. So I wish I had like another 10 seconds, but whatever. Um, Orange Man in the comments, hey, good to see you. I don't honestly know how you're going to be able to join my specific room. Is it just random matchmaking or what? I haven't really messed around, but we got some people. We got some people here. Thundering Cutters, uh, yeah, let's, let's go 
Jurassic scale helmet. Plus one tough. Yeah, let's put that on. As far as the armor goes, uh, 35. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Thundering cutters are still my uh, my main thing over here. That's like my strongest weapon. So I'm going to keep on using the cutters. All right. I'm good, man. Let's go. Marcus play gauge 2000 the derpy lemon. That was interesting. So once you guys figure out like how to make private groups or whatever, let me know. And then we could find people that are playing online right now during watching the stream and we can just get a bunch of people together and like raid It'd be pretty cool. So anyway, Let's go find this monster. All right, Gage, that's nice, thank you. Oh, dang, he's already here. Cool, cool, we're already, hey! And that guy like shot out a flare, cool. Where'd he go? Oh man, it's a bird. Wait, it's not a bird. So when he's charging at you, you can see that it's got its weak point. Dude, it keeps on moving. Come on, man. That's my that's my special attack. I'm going to use my attack tonic. That's kind of annoying. Oh, big hit, big hit. I'm gonna just heal up over here a little bit. Oh, dang, yo, he 360'd me. All right. We have not done any damage against this guy. In the middle of my uh, attack there. Dude, what? Oh, big old shot. Okay, kinda dead and kinda died. Got carded, man. <laughs> Got carded. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's regroup here. Dude, stop. Okay, so we got one fourth of his health down. Every time. So 
So the dude is enraged right now. I don't know what that necessarily means, other than he's probably a lot stronger. Whoa, hey now, guy. Dunked on him, man. Come here. Oh, whoa. Hey, okay. Wow. And then one of the things, too, like, you can't forget to use your little, um, your shield, your overshield. I don't think we've uh, stunned this guy once. See, when he like runs at you like that, that's when you gotta use the... Um... Okay. Yep! <laughs> I need to get out of here! <laughs> Help! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, I'm just like slamming this guy and there we go. I don't I don't know what the heck happened there or how we stunned him. Where the heck did he go? Well, so this is like the monster fled probably Probably like healing somewhere. Oh, I'm gonna use my compass, man. Oh, he's right here. Okay, wow. <laughs> I'm like, where is he? Okay, yeah, there goes my health. Uh, I need to go heal somewhere. Hold on, help. Oh, that's when we need to hit him, when he does that. And I don't honestly know what this circle is, either. Yo, did we get him? Someone stunned him. Well, he's still, like, stomping around, even though he f he's, like, pseudo-stunned. I don't know what the heck this is. Oh man, I could have gotten him. I could have gotten him with a hit. Yeah, kind of dead. I'm out of my potions. Yo, 
Next hit, I'm out. Dead. Oh my gosh, he's got one little sliver of health left, yikes! Yeah, that's that's exactly what. <laughs> oh my gosh, stay alive! So the 360's a slam. Oh my gosh. I died like two times already. I don't know what the total death count is that you're allowed, but he's pretty much done. There we go. Do work. Do work. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. Oh, big hit. Oh, that knocked me out. I don't know how many times I can stay alive. Hey, are those healing things? Who's healing me? How in the world was someone healing? Oh, dude, hold on. Someone has the ability to heal. Um, hello? He's dead. Yes, we did it. Hey, dude, hold on, hold on. There's a healing class in the game? I did not know that. Wow. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, way to go, team. Slayer Captain Marcus. My rank was C, whatever. It was still a cool hunt. Like, I'm still learning how to play the game. That was fun. That was real fun. Does Dauntless require Nintendo Switch Online? I presume it does. Because you're playing with a whole bunch of um, online people? I don't know, confirm or deny. If you don't have Nintendo Switch Online right now, you gotta get it. You gotta get it. That was really fun. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Cool, yeah? Dang, heal me! I did need a heal. I don't know who the heck that was, though. But, like, if I can find out which ability class does, like, those healing shots, I would totally be that person. Right? It's like we're playing blasters all over again. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it requires Nintendo Online. You guys can take a look. Go to Dauntless, uh, Nintendo site. Let me see, Nintendo, games, Dauntless Switch. You would scroll down, it says, um, yeah, it doesn't say anything about that. Like, you don't need Nintendo Switch Online. Interesting. Doesn't specify, but hey, that was real cool. So craft one of these lanterns with Ark and Drew. So we're gonna learn a little bit about lanterns really quick. I don't know too much about them, but hey, dude, these like scythes or whatever I was using are pretty cool. Uh, this guy over here is the, the hunt pass guy. So that remember I was telling you guys earlier about like the whole hunter pass, you can sign up for the elite, which costs some sort of money and you get a lot more cool rewards on it. So, and the season ends in 50 days. So that's pretty cool. See you again soon. I would say so if you're into that kind of stuff. All right, so I'm gonna go over to Admiral Zai, and apparently we're gonna learn something. It's about the Ostian weapons can help Slayers of uh, Ramsgate defend the city. Ostian. Oh, dang, we can do the Reapers now. Okay, okay, that's what I was hoping for. Okay, so the Reapers and Grenades, uh, or sorry, not re Reapers, Repeaters. They're Repeaters. I'm thinking Reaper, that would be this a cool name for like a bunch of Slayers, but no, it's Repeaters. And uh, they're like the guns, so like, let's go. So I'm gonna equip them and we're gonna try out a hunt with these um, with these things. Let's get this 
Okay, deal 10,000 with the Austin repeaters using empowered shots and abilities. Man, this is cool. Let's go. Re those repeaters can be empowered by ambient uh, etheric energy emanating from every behemoth. Press your attack and, re and reload your repeaters at close range. All right, I'm down. Launch the barrage. Deal 2,000 damage with barrage grenades. All right. That's cool. Like, I want to go do a hunt really quick now. All right. Who can... I want. I wonder. Here, let's take a look. Okay, so we got the Ostian repeaters. I wonder if I can like power these up. Adds a flat amount of part damage on a hit. Sure. Mobility. Give me increase stamina regeneration. Increases max stamina. All right. Deal. We'll slap that on there, and then we got standard barrel. Shots deal neutral damage, and then we got the Salvo Chamber, which uh, explosive missile in a line dealing 400 damage. And then the Grip increases attack speed. I don't even know, man. I'm excited to see what these guns do, though. All right. Can we improve on said guns from this guy? Or maybe he doesn't... He doesn't deal in guns. No, he, he just deals in, like, traditional weapons. Maybe this guy deals in guns. But you have to, like, probably, um, repeater crafting. Oh, dang. So I can. Yeah, I can upgrade this. Captain's Grip. Salvo Chamber. Yeah, let's go. I'll upgrade. Why the heck not? I got money. So we're going to go upgrade, like, one apiece. Okay. So I think we're good. I want to go beat up a quick monster now. <laughs> Okay, craft one of these new lanterns at Drew. Oh, here's Drew. Let's see what he's got. Craft a new lantern. Okay, I don't know what the lanterns do. Okay, light the way. Uh, do you, uh, don't you think you deserve far more effective lantern than that? Somewhat quaint training model. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. As soon as you bring the parts I need, we can get to work. All right. Recruits lantern. Okay, move 40% faster for six seconds. Grants 250 hit points for shield. Yeah, that's way better. So Skarn's Defiance. So now I have a lantern in my inventory. To learn you okay. I, I don't know what a lantern is, but we're going to try it. We're going to see what's up. Here we go. Tap L to activate the lantern's instant ability. There we go. Okay, hold L to activate the Lantern's hold ability. Hold ability is charged when you deal damage to a behemoth, use an Aether Vent, or collect Aether Wisps. I don't know if I need to actually equip this thing. Uh, equipment... I think it's just automatic, I'm presuming. It's not a consumable. Uh, oh, here's your Lantern. Yep, never mind. Recruits Lantern grants the hit point shield. Oh, that's what we were talking about. The overshield is considered a Lantern. Uh-huh, okay. So instead of using that lantern, I can use this one. Uh, grants 250 hit points shield for six seconds. Surrounds the Slayer in a swirling stone that deals 900 Terra damage. Wow, Stealth Rock. All right, let's go. That's actually really cool. All right, so I'm excited for that. Now let's go back to Cater and Sorel since we did that quest. And then maybe she wants us to hunt another monster. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, these, uh, these frame drops are a little rough, but you know what? It's as to be expected, right? Right? Okay, we got some orbs. We got an extra loadout into the Maelstrom. Here we go. Okay, achieve Slayer level 8. Oh, we're not there yet. But we've got some stuff that we got to do. We got the Charog Hunt unlocked. Whoa. Okay, well... We got the Nezaga hunt unlocked. Excellent. We got the Quill Shant hunt. Okay. Interesting. Yes. Okay. Achieve Slayer level 8. I'm not Slayer level 8 yet. So we're going to go to Patrol. Patrol to collect bonus rewards. All right, let's do a uh, let's do a neutral patrol, and that's fine. 
Hunt any behemoth and get bonus orbs for arc stones. All right, so we got a hunt going on right now. Maybe you can join it, maybe you can't. Don't really know. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to use these guns, man. These repeaters. All right, so let's see. Adding friends, you can do that. You can make a guild. Guild invites guild members, create a guild. Uh, can I make a guild? <laughs> the Abdalination Guild. Who's joining it? I don't know how you join it either, so I'm just messing around right here. I don't know anything about this. Choose a nameplate. I don't know what a nameplate is. I'm just gonna throw letter A on there. Create guild. Failed to create guild. Okay. Well, that's how that worked. Interesting. <laughs> how do we do that? Why did it fail? Guild members, guild invites, create guild. I don't want to type my name again. Where's the auto fill in? Maybe I just, I don't know what the nameplate is. Okay, look, nameplate. I'm just gonna do YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> is that gonna do it? Failed to create a guild. All right. No clue. So we're finding a server still. All right. It says complete Dr. Priani's quest. I don't know who Dr. Priani is, but we will find him. Give me that. Dr. Briani. Okay, speak to Ori Behemoth expert about slaying a Karabak. Yeah, sure. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Karabak, yep. Slay a Karabak. All right, deal. Maelstrom effect. Bring you some common break parts. I got all your things. All right, so now we got a Karabak hunt unlocked. Good to see you. This is urgent. All right, so there's, there's still a lot of quests that we got to do here. Give me that. A hero ring? All right. Okay, so we found a match. Whoa, dang. Okay, so this is great. We're going to be leaving in uh, 30 seconds here. Oh, you know what I should do? I don't know if I could craft some stuff in like 10 seconds, but I should go to the craft dude and craft more of those buffs. Was it this guy, Bozen? Give me one! <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so I see who's playing Who's playing this game? Let me know in the comments. Who got it downloaded and uh, who's ready to go? Can you find matches in this game? I don't know, Aiden. I don't know how online matchmaking works. But um, I got some people that are on PC right now. Uh, Demon's Bane. It's a threat level shrike, and I'm about to die because I am completely done. I should have like, I ugh, load out slots. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I got these repeaters and he's neutral. So yeah. Barrage grenade, throw a grenade that deals that damage before splitting into that grenade. You can only bring five with you. Yeah, let's go. And then I do have uh, one of these Blitz Tonics. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm like completely under leveled, but hopefully the Gunch and S on Y Stinks is, uh, is ready to go. I don't know what I can do with this stuff, but. Patrol bonus on. I'm ready. Departing for island in five, four, three, two, one. This is cross platform. This is free to play. Absolutely. You just download the game from uh, the link in the description and you guys can play along with. Let's go. All right. Hopefully, these guys can help me out. That guy just fell. That's kind of cute. A little animation. 
Alright, let's go. Lantern, instant ability. Alright, so we kind of messed around with lanterns. Oh, and the lanterns hold ability. Okay. Oh, well, here's the monster. Great. Threw some grenades at that dude. Did not even like it. Oh gosh. I don't know how to set a flare, but I presume that they can see me. Okay, good. I kind of know the patterns of this dude, so I'm, I'm gonna be okay. Oh, except for there's a new weapon. Oh, I don't know anything about this. Okay, let's mess around. I just put something on the ground. Oh, yeah? So other than doing these shots... So I'm like staying away rather than being in the fray. And then the Y button are like super shots, it looks like. Ooh, yeah, right there. Hello, hi, nice to meet you. I'm dead. It's decent damage. I don't know if I necessarily like it. See, that kind of healing though, I don't know what the heck that is. No idea. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Yep, there goes me. All right, come on, heal up. All right, I wanted to use all my grenades there. Where'd he go? Ah, oh, it's lame. Alright, let's run. So, the little, the guy just ran away. Hello? I'll heal up a little bit. We're gonna go this way. I'm just gonna follow this guy, Why stinks. And maybe we can find him.
There we go. Yep. <laughs> Just like that. Clearly dodged, but that's fine. Okay, so that that X button attack, you throw it down and it's a it's a buff. And you pick it up. Interesting. We done here? Good. Yo, I like I like the repeaters. I do. I like them a lot. So I guess what I learned from that is you're just firing away. Oh. <laughs> you're firing away. You press the X button and it throws like an attack up buff that I think you can give to your teammates. Kind of cool. And then the Y button is just like a power charged up. And then the lantern that I chose was pretty cool. Um, what the heck is this? Weird. No, I thought that was awesome. And like, if we didn't have those other two people, it would have been way harder. All right, what do you guys think of the repeaters? Let me know in the comments. Does that sound like something that you guys would do when you guys play? That was cool. That was real fun. I like those guns, man. Those guns were cool. I cannot. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the future holds for us as a dauntless streamer here. We might pick this up again. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it because I'm a fan of Monster Hunter. You guys know me. I think the learning curve for Monster Hunter is really, really steep. And I'm a Capcom guy through and through. Trust me, I am. Um, but the fact that you can download this game for free and kind of get the exact same experiences without all that learning curve of the of the monsters and how to wield all these different weapons, I'm down. I'm really down. This is a cool game. All right, anyway. So I didn't make Slayer level 8 yet, but I want to go upgrade my guns a little bit more. I'm going to try these guns again. I'm going to try these guns again. This guy loves moms. <laughs> okay. Luck be a lady. Speak to Lady Corsair. All right. Grenade crafting. Yeah, those grenades were kind of cool. Uh, you might as well, right? So barrage grenades. That was awesome. Uh, repeater crafting. Standard barrel blizz. Whoa, hold on, hold on. So now you get elementals here. Standard barrel. Blizzard Barrel, Inferno Barrel, and Storm Barrel? Wow, cool. But, like, I don't have the materials for it. Like, at all. Required materials is uh, Scrave Feathers, Scrave Tail Feathers, or Inferno Shots. Dang. I'll just, I'll just keep on going with regular shots, man. There we go. Upgraded the barrel. Captain's Grip. Granting increased attack speed. Launches a collectibles buff. That's what it was! So the Captain's Grip was allowing me to press the X button and you collect that buff. Oh, that's so cool. Let's do it, man. 20% increased attack. Yeah, dude. Collectible buff. And if I see someone going real ham, I'll just throw it at them and they could pick it up. Man, salvo chamber. And this is what it was. Remember the Y button? When it charged up, you fire the missile. 
400 damage, area upon impact, three missiles spread. Let's just go, man. Salvo chamber all the way, dude. Yeah, look at that, dude. We are gunslingers, man. Let's go. All right. I'm ready. Uh, grenade crafting, repeater crafting, luck be a lady. All right. So I have to do another um, another couple things. My armor is pretty weak, though. I kind of want to get some newer armor. Wills, 5x5, uh, five five, I'm all right. Hunt a Karabakh. All right, let's go beat up a Karabakh. Who's joining me? Let's go. All right, here we go. Uh, patrol was cool, but we're going to go Pursuit. We're going to go a... Oh, any of these things, right? Charog. Oh, we can get a Skrev. Nizaya. Karabakh. Yeah, let's do Karabakh. Okay. We're going to do a... Oh my gosh. Weapon power? Pursue the Karabakh. Armor power is bad. I need to go get some new armor. Quick. Yeah! Maybe I should have done this before. Looking for people. All right, so we got some pretty cool armors. Let's do Skarm armor. More max health. 50% max health. Let's go. Guardian shield. Uh-huh. Pillars of stone. Rage when under. Yeah, I like these. I like the rage gauntlets, man. That's cool, man. I like this helmet a lot because it gives you um, more healing. So we found a match. I got 30 seconds, man. I'm going to do more healing. I'm going to do the these greaves. I'm going to do these. Increased damage. Boreal March. Um, That's pretty good. Nine seconds. I'm just kind of dumping my money in this stuff. Like, I like this armor. <laughs> okay, that was like, ooh, can we upgrade before we have to go? All right, all right, let's go. So I upgraded my, like, ice armor a little bit more, which is kind of cool. But it gives more damage when you're at under 50% health. And I feel I'm, like, always under 50% health. So that's going to be pretty cool. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, look at these guys. All right, we're gonna go to equipment. Um, you guys saw me like naked there for a quick second. What was that? All right, so I'm not gonna do fiery gauntlets. I'm gonna do the boreal might gauntlets. We're gonna do the boreal march. Acidic cell, boreal might. Increase the stagger damage, why the heck not? Boreal Resolve. I think that's the best thing I got for 55. Yeah, Boreal's cool. I don't have a defensive cell. Increases max health, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Sight of Stone. Defensive cell, let's do... Protects against being set on fire. All right, whatever. And then they got the Ostian Reapers, which is, yeah, boy, let's get these guns. All right, all right, I'm, I'm excited. My weapon power versus armor power is really garbage. But uh, I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be fun either way. Shock weapons are up. I didn't realize. Dang it. So maybe I could have used uh, my shock weapons. But we'll see. Yo. Yolanda, you playing? Tell me you're playing. <laughs> You're all about that Epic Games um, stuff. Anyway. I'm going to be finding this monster very soon. All right. Blue Wolf 84 uh, says that Karabakh is really hard. All right. We'll see about that. I don't know where the monster is. 
I guess I'll follow them. But yeah, if any of you guys want to play along along with, you let me know. Let me know if you're ready to play, and we'll we'll do some hunts together. We're just running in circles here, all of us. Anyone have that uh, compass? <laughs> that lantern with the compass? And look at that. Like, I don't have to sit around 10 minutes chopping down a tree like in Fortnite. I can just run by and press the B button and pick up those items. It's pretty good. What you guys know about Fortnite? Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything. And that's kind of annoying. That's me attempting a flare. Oh dang! Yeah, yeah, here, here we go. Uh, let me, let me throw a flare out. Your boy took my buff. All right, you better use it, boy. I have no idea what this thing is, but I'm keeping my distance. Doo -hoo. Wounded! Oh my gosh, I got status! What? Alright, Stealth Rock. Rock is super effective against Bug, right? Wrong game? Yo, Jonathan Hall, what's going on, man? How are you? Ooh. Everyone welcome, Jonathan Hall. Oh my gosh. This thing's insane. Gamer Fox is down. I don't know if he knows that he can press the up button on the on the D-pad to get him up. What is this not what is this nonsense on me? Where'd it go? Oh gosh. Oh, he's still here. Two hundred and seventy power shot. Everyone's picking this dude up. <laughs> Did he not bring any healing items? Uh oh. Liabilities. Dude, this guy's really hard. We don't even have one fourth of his health down.
I don't know what the heck this is. But I think it's invisible. Holy moly is this thing hard. And our guy, GamerFox, keeps dying. There we go. There's a lot of good damage, for sure. I don't know how we stunned him, but... Who's he aiming for? Ooh. Oh man, I'm dying now. All right, I gotta run. Watch the danger meter. I'm watching the danger meter. I should have brought like a super effective weapon. I'm gonna try to heal this dude up. Dude, now I get rocked. All right, I'll come back up, I'm fine. Not cool. Looks like my team needs me. Where did it go? Oh my gosh. Whew. This hunt is insane. I don't know what the 62 percentage on the side means, uh, by the way. Any of you guys know? The 62 percent, does that mean something? Whew. Whoa, flying a little bit. I don't know what a danger meter is. Someone elaborate. After 100%, you can no longer revive teammates and the boss deals more damage. Kind of like an enrage timer in RPGs. Says Dark Chaos Games. Hey, thanks. That is the comment I'm looking for. All right, cool. So our danger meter, huh? It looks like our team found him. All right, I'm on my way. Sorry, guys. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Gamer Fox is down again. It's okay, dude, I'm, I'm coming. Yup, wounded. Whoa, hey, I'm about to die. Goo! Hold on, put your guns away and run. No! <laughs> He's aiming for me, man! Dread. 
Revives disabled. Defeat or drive off the behemoth? Well, if it's up to... If it's up, if it's up to me. No, that's not cool. Critically injured, calling for extraction. Yeah, we got wiped. Yeah, that was um. Was interesting. We do we get anything? We get something. But uh, yeah, okay. So you gotta go in. You gotta go into the fight with super effective weapons, man. <laughs> or else you're just gonna be spinning your wheels. All right. Yep. And then at the same time, it's just really all about, like, who else is in your group? Do they know how to play? Like, we're brand new, but, like, I've, I've played Monster Hunter before, so, like, I kind of know what's going on. But, hey, you know what? We're all new at this, right? Good job. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's right. Uh, Parker's got it right. Nail, nail on the head. He says, we got to do the basics of every game. Grind the low tier monster, monsters for experiments, experience and then become broken after hours of grinding. It's maybe true. I don't know. All right. Well, that one was really hard. So I'm going to just make sure that I got enough stuff. Right? All chemical romance. Are you kidding me? Did they really just do that? That's hilarious. Uh, Blitz Tonics, I need a couple of these. I'll take five. Because that'll help during a quest, right? You never know. All chemical romance. Karabak is so hard, though. Upgrade any weapon to plus five. I'm just gonna probably go beat up another monster. Cat Daddy. Yo, what's up? I can relate. Hold on, we got some stuff in here. Yeah. So we're into this is part of like the gotcha gotcha mechanics maybe I think, um, whenever you beat a monster, there's like white orbs like fall off of them, and then these are the things that you get, and you can like open up these little loot crates, or loot boxes or whatever. And no, I didn't spend any money on it. It's all just stuff that you got. So you might as well pop them open, and you might uh you might get some pretty cool cores that you can add to your weapons so that you can get even stronger, right? Cool, cool, and that's it. All right, upgrade, uh, achieve Monster Slayer level eight. Well, I need to beat up some more monsters first. Let's go to Pursuit. Uh, we're gonna go over to Neutral. No, I need some good stuff. Blaze Behemoth, Charog, a level four. Normal, the challenge is normal, so if I use Frost Weapons, I can potentially do some damage, so... And then Blaze Armor. Or actually, let's do this one. Let's do Frost Behemoth with Blaze Weapons and Frost Armor. Yeah, that'll be pretty cool. So let's go make some Blaze Weaponry, and let's see what else is here, right? I want, like, the fire shots. Can I have a fire shot yet? I like these guns a lot. I think they're really cool. Neutral orb, launch the barrage. I think I did do it. Yeah, I was throwing a lot of grenades, so I did those requ requests. Reaper crafting, still nothing. Like, I don't have these things in the bottom here. Like, I don't have the Charog scale. But once I do, I'm going to be fighting a Charog now, and then maybe I'll get it. Or I'll be fighting another monster. I'm the Pursuit of Scrave. Okay, so we found a hunt, maybe. All right, let's go find a fire, a fire weapon first. Crafting. All right. I can do a fire sword, right? Swords are kind of cool. Do I not have a firing one? Ember Cutlass. Yeah. Oh, I can't craft it because I don't have something fire related. Lame. Sun Thundering Scythe. Ember Scythe. I can do an Ember Scythe. Hammer's kind of interesting. This thing is kind of interesting too, the Ember Pike. I can upgrade it a little bit. I'm gonna use a pike today. We're gonna use a pike against this one monster. 
five by five. Use a hammer to slay any behemoth. Use an ax, use a chain blade, war pike. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'll accept it. Thank you. And then let's go take a look at our armor over here. Yeah, I really like this one. Uh, this one is gain after dodging gain movement speed. I don't dodge that much. I mean, maybe I should. These perks are kind of cool. I don't know if you ever get like a matching set bonus or something. That would be kind of cool. Like if you're wearing the matching set, you get like even more power. That'd be interesting. Fireproof increases dodge and, vulnerab and vulnerability windows by 7%. Excuse me? Hello? Give me that. Give me these pants. I'm putting these pants on right now. The fiery greaves. Oh, dude. Stamina regeneration, stamina part damage. Uh, yeah. Invincibility frames. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, what else? What else? I got these. When under health, deal more damage. Yeah, I mean, we've got some stuff. Boreal might. That's fine. Boreal resolve. And then this helmet is 50% max health. It's already maxed out. So we're departing in a couple seconds anyway. So I'm good. So that's the armor. Uh, I don't know what this guy have. S Ark and Drew? What do you do again? Tell me again. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Blaze lanterns. Okay, so he's the lantern guy. Don't really need a new lantern. All right, I'm getting ready to depart, dude. Here's another Here's another boss. Let's go fight it. This one shouldn't be that hard. I've got a fire weapon, right? Didn't I make a fire sword? No, I made a fire pike, an ember pike. And I have the ice armor on, so I should be matched in a way that I'm uh, a little bit more at an advantage. All right, here we go. Yeah, dude, I'm looking good. 216? It's 216. Uh, I'm using the weapon, right? Did I equip it? <laughs> Don't look at me naked for two seconds, man. All right, let's look at this um, pike. Ember pike. Yeah, let's go. I'm going to throw in some uh, technique cells, uh, mobility cell, stamina regeneration, and then... Okay, so this is... This one's an interesting... Um, it's a different weapon than what I'm used to. But we're going to be fine. So here we go. ZR. This one's going to be very interesting. Okay? Because, like, you do all this attacks, and then you have a meter. And a meter goes up to, like, 20%. But if you get hit, it'll, like, go down a little bit. And then with this 20% meter, you can choose to, like, save it. A <laughs> dude landed on a slug. What? You can choose to save it and then, like, use it as an attack. Which is interesting. Interesting nonetheless, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see exactly how uh, this is going to equate here. So let's see where we got to go. I'm just following this guy. He seems, he, it, it looks like he knows where he's going. Well, there's something glowing over that way. Oh, there it is. Sweet. I'm coming. I guess I'm going to shoot out a flare. Hey, what the heck? A frozen trap? Get out of here. All right, let's see what we got against this thing. Whoa, it's a recolored. It's a recolored owl. Whoa, hold on, hold on. Okay, so right now, I'm at like an 8%. Okay, so then I took that 8% and I, uh, I pocketed it. I guess that's one way of putting it, right? What are these? Immune to burning. Oh, interesting.
All right, I'm going to load up another 10%. A 9%. So I got a 10% and a 9% at least. And then when I'm ready, I can just fire it. Alright, so this dude's in rage now. Oh, yeah? Alright. Great. There we go. 885 damage. It's pretty great. Yo, we're chunking this guy. Alright, I'm loading up a 20%er right now. Dang, yo! Here we go, here we go. Alright, I'm loading up an 8%. So I got a 20% and an 8% shot. I better be ready for this, man. Where'd he go? Ooh, there he is. Okay. Where is he flying to? Oh, he flew all the way the heck over there? Alright, that's fine. I'm coming. Oh, here we go, here we go. He's at, I wonder how much health he's got. Big shot, 466. 932 with my second shot, not bad. Some good damage. So you know what, I do like the War Pike. This thing is actually really cool. Burning him up. Oh, come on. I got hit and I lost the 20%. All right. Load it up. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say. Loaded up another, like, 10%. Alright, here we go. I don't know, I think I missed my shot. But whatever, he's done. Yeah, War Pike! Dude, War Pike's cool! What did you guys think? Alright, so that's War Pike. War Pike is attack him a lot, and then you get this meter that you charge up, and you just pocket it three times. And then depending on how well you pocket that meter, would be like a huge blast shot whenever you get a free hit. I think that's real cool. I like it a lot. All right, so we got some Scrave Feathers, we got some Chill Claws. I don't know if those things are things that I could use for, like, shots in the gun. But yeah, let me know. Oh, this game is, uh, is a lot like Monster Hunter, for sure. I like it a lot, though. I, I do. I do. Like, I can see myself just playing. Hey, you know, get my friends on a friends list. You guys want to go do some raids? Let's go. Boom. I can absolutely do it. All right, you guys want to try to figure out how to do a viewer, a viewer hunt? You guys want to try to figure that out right now? Do any of you guys know how to do that? Please inform me. Give me a big old bulk instruction manual on how we can do that. Uh, let me know. Get, uh, first of all, I need to find out who has the game and is ready to play. That's the hand raise emoji. So then I could take tally at least three people to see if we can get in on a on a round. 
All right, so we made it to player eight. I got to go to Dr. Piriani, Priyani. And I don't know where Dr. Piriani is. I keep on forgetting where everyone's at. Oh, here we go. So Blue Wolf is ready. Nathaniel is ready. That's two people. This is urgent. Farewell, I got to still hunt that Karabak, dude. <laughs> All right. So... Ereven sent me a friend request. Oh, that's nice. Thanks. <laughs> Look at me. I'm getting popular. Upgrade a weapon to plus five. Okay. Dark Chaos is on and ready. All right. So I don't know how to make a room. Do I just go over here and do a private room? Is that is that what we're doing here? Okay. So if I do Pursuit, if I do Terra Behemoth, Karabak is so hard. I need Terra Armor and Shock Weapons for this guy. So if I do Private Hunt, why? What does Private Hunt do? How do you how do you join? Okay, so how do I exit out of one of these hunts? You have to invite before you set up the hunt. I don't know. Dark Chaos is Ereven. Okay, that's cool. I don't know how to do this. I don't want to be in... I don't, I don't want to go fight a Karabak. How do I quit? <laughs> oh, X Abandon Hunt. All right. Step-by-step -step instructions if you guys want to uh, play a room together. Uh, is it worth getting on Switch? It's a free game. Are you kidding me? Why wouldn't you play this game? No, like legit, I'm having fun with this. Recruit Strikers. Scarred Master and the Aether Strikers, I guess. Adamant Bolt, Advanced Strikes? What is this? Deal 5,000 damage with Adamant Bolt while Tempest Form and Karma Breaker affects her at... I don't even know what the heck she's talking about. Take up your Strikers. I want to see how effectively you are able to draw on true power. First, you must achieve Tempest Form and Karma Breaker, Mantras. Then prepare your most powerful Striker attack, the Adamant Bolt. How do you do that? What the heck did she just say to me? <laughs> You want to make a party first. I don't know how to make a party. Party invites. Okay. Add friends. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not one to be kept waiting, Slayer. You have to make a party via your friends list and social menu? How do you do that? Where is a friends list and social menu? Ugh. Try typing out more than one sentence. I hate asking the comments for how to do stuff. Because I'll get like bits and pieces of how to do it. <laughs> like explain it. Like, like you're trying to explain it. Press minus. Press R. Add in these people. Whatever, man. Join in if you join in. We'll have to figure it out off screen. Um, anyway, let's go do another uh, Frost Behemoth, yeah? The Scrave? Blaze Weapon? Frost Scrave was kind of cool. The Shock Behemoth? You know, I think we should get the Terra. I think we get this guy. I just gotta get a Shock Weapon and Terra Armor. So let me go do that. Find me. Alright, so I'm gonna go Shock Weapon. I'm gonna go find something that I have that is a uh, specific Shock Weapon. And then I'm gonna attempt to do some work. So, I do have the Shock Thundering Cutters. I do have these. Okay, so I got Thundering Cutters. And then I should go try to get these... Um, uh, like the grass... Is this the grass stuff? Power versus that? Yeah, these guys. We're going to do these. Heart of Stone. I can't upgrade that anymore, but I could upgrade this. I'm just going to go full on, man. Let's go. Alright, so I upgraded that armor. I should have Electric. I should have Terra Armor, which gives me the best chances of winning against this guy. I hope... That my other people uh, are on board. Dark Chaos Games, join me, man. <laughs> Maybe if you choose the same monster, 
You'll have a chance at fighting with me? I don't know. No idea. No idea. Oh my gosh, we got some people. I don't know who these guys are, but uh, let me take a look at my equipment really quick. Ember Pike is not what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using the electric Electrified Thundering Cutters. We're going to go with the Wound Damage at the cost of Part Damage. Flat amount of Part Damage. Okay, Power Cell. Let's do... Give me that one. Yep. And then Reaper's Dance. No mod equip. I don't have any mods, but that's okay. And then we're going to go Boreal Resolve. I'm going to go with this guy. Yeah. Defensive Cell. Protects against Chilled and Frozen status effects. We don't need that. We're going to go um, this thing. Might of Stone. Protects against being, uh-huh, uh-huh, explosion damage, increases max health. Yeah, let's do it. Max health, cool, cool. And then the Fire Greaves, I like them because they're passive. Plus one evasion, which is really nice. But I think I'm just going to opt for... No, I'm not going to opt for the Pillars of Stone. I'm going to keep these on. And then we're going to throw in a defensive cell of... Uh, let's see this one. Okay, so now I'm at 340 weapon power... And 315 armor power. This should be good using a shock weapon. I think I'm ready, man. I think I'm ready. And we got some people wearing the same armor. Kind of cool. Yeah, this is, uh, this is exciting. All right. Catch me. So how did these random people get grouped up in my room here? Is that just they were looking for the same thing? I don't know. Alright, Tan Cookie Dip. I'm coming. I'm coming, Tan Cookie Dip. Oh, nice jump, dude. I guess we're kind of going this way, huh? Whoa, that's cool. Jumping and rolling. Oh, dude, I don't even have rolls. Oh, we found the monster already? You just shot a flare for no reason. What are you doing? How are you running so fast? <laughs> what is this, Fortnite? Whoa. We're just, I'm, it's like the blind leading the blind here. Like, what are we doing? Give me some of this stuff. You guys go find the boss. I'll be right with you. <laughs> Again, I don't know what Omni Stones do in this game, but... Just going for a, a little jog. Where is the bee? Where's the bee? <sighs> Your boy over here is flaring. Your guy's flaring for no reason. Okay, now you're flaring. Okay, so now we're gonna believe you this time around? Okay. Good job. I don't really know what that does, but I think I'm okay. 
It just slows you down, it seems. Yeah, okay, just straight died. Great! I'm not dying this early. No, forget that. Dude, tan cookie dip is done. Yo, we need some good peeps for this mission. Are you kidding me? The heck? Whoa, whoa, what was that? <laughs> Weird. It was like suspended animation. Again, boom, whatever. Look at me running backwards. Yeah, dude, check this out. Yeah. <laughs> totally not a glitch. Oh, I just died because I'm too busy messing around. All right, tan cookie dip. Dude, I'm just bailing this guy out. Forget it. Die already. Forget it. You know what? Whatever. Liability, man. You want some of this? Okay, that's perfect. Good use of those. When secretly I'm just stalling out so I can get my shield back. Spin around, boom! <laughs> oh my gosh, those explosions, huh? There we go. Now, attack! That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Oh my gosh, that was annoying. Like, I'm aiming directly at him. Oh my gosh, I'm aiming directly at him. 
And my, like, super R attack doesn't even work on him? Because I'm, like, flipping in the air in the opposite direction? Like, I should be able to change the angle of where I'm flipping like that, you know? Dead! Okay. Dude, what? <sighs> We're not gonna make it. We're gonna get permadeath very soon. Dude, what stung me? Ugh. Okay, so he's going invisible. I gotta wait until my shield comes back. Alright, here we go. Okay, I'm the only one alive. All right, see you guys. I should really just hang out until my shield comes back. Or he just throws something at me. This thing's way too hard. I'm out. GG's. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> How did this guy get up? So you cannot invite players unless they are on your friends list. Okay. Interesting. So am I just adding people uh, in the friends list? Alright, so what in-game names am I adding? Because we need some good peeps here. How do I get up? Can I cheer for one of you guys? Nope. Thank you. <laughs> just gonna say thank you. Uh, Alright. Alright. Yep. Is that guy dancing? How in the world? How am I alive? How are we still in this? Okay, I guess. Oh, which way is it? Someone use their compass. Okay, so they're all going that way. All right. So why did my shield go away? Is it only for a couple seconds? Is that what that is? There we go. All right, well. Rematch time. I don't know how to get these bees off me. And I'm dead. Yeah, the bees are taking away my health. <laughs> There's no way, man. Okay, so maybe when he's doing his little bee thing, I just stay away from him? You guys don't have to bring me up. Like, this is ridiculous. We only have a quarter of his health, and I've got none of my reserves ready. This thing's way too hard to be a level 6. Big Tail Whip, super effective.
great. What the heck? Mash attack and you can kill the bees? Is that right? Oh, that's pretty cool. I'll give that a shot next time. Yeah, our danger uh, rating is up, man. So, okay. I guess if you just analyze his attack patterns, it's not that hard. That dude just got shot by a little wind attack. Like, you don't have to bring me up, man. We can quit. And... <laughs> Can I just leave? But I don't want to leave him high and dry, right? There we go. Hey, okay. Dude, it's way too hard. When spawning the bees, attack the face and you should be good. Yeah, we'll see, man. How are you still alive? There's gotta be something we can do, like crawl towards each other, just like in Fortnite. Like, why can't we do the Fortnite crawl? I brought my electric weapon, man. Fire skull, dude, stay alive. Or not, just die, dude. Okay, now he's dead. Calling for extraction, please. Extract us out of here. I don't want to fight this thing anymore. He's too strong. <sighs> Alright, so what do we think of that? Was it uh, just our teammates not having the correct armor? What was it? What was that? Alright, send me friend requests and I'll, I'll get you on board. And then we'll hunt together. You know what I like, or I think is as different is um, the dodging is interesting in this game, but like it's like a buffered dodge. When you're in the middle of an attack, you can't interrupt an attack animation with a dodge. I think you could do that in Monster Hunter, but in this game, not so much. What's up, Kotetsu? You playing? You jumping on board with that free-to-play Dauntless? It's a cool game. I like it so far. I just gotta get better at it, that's all. And I need some stuff. Like this guy? What the hell's all, all chemical romance? <laughs> I just think it's funny, though. Alright, anyway. Press, uh, get a free pack of dyes, press plus to open the store. Let's make a deal. Your free recruits die bundle, tax as a store. Uh, I don't really care about that. Give me this guy. Crafting, yeah, give me some more blitz tonics, man. Let me just craft 10 of them. How do I craft 10? Yeah, I like those a lot. All right. Claim your hunt pass rewards. Do this. You got anything for me, girl? Into the maelstrom. Yeah, I'm still working on that. I need to be... Oh, I am at hunter rank 8. But I got to do behemoth studies from, from Dr. Priyani. And I always forget. Dr. Priyani. Like, I got to do her thing. Behemoth studies. I just gotta beat the Karabrak, Karabak or something. All right, anyway, I'm gonna go to add friends. We're gonna go Reven. Oh, I can go invite to party. Jen Arrows, I can invite to party. Who else? Nugman, invite to party. That's three people that are in the chat right now. So now what? Now that I've invited you to party, what happens? Jen Arrows, join the party. Jen Arrows, can you handle 
and Nugman. These are actual viewers that are playing with me right now in the in the YouTube land. Uh, yeah, send me a send me a request and then I'll get you going. I don't know who Geminus Miles is. All right, we're gonna we're gonna invite you to party. E Reven. Okay, so I sent one to E Reven. I don't know. This is cool. All right, I need some more armor though. All right, I'm just going all in on this. I don't even care. All right, give me some in-game names in the comments if you guys are wanting to join up with this. Okay, so I got the most on that, right? Wills Borman. I have, and then I have the most on Thundering Cutters, yeah. Okay, E Reven's here, but I don't see you in our in our hunting party, so I don't know how uh, I don't know how that works. I sent one to Jen Arrows and Nugman. Speak to the Corsair captain known as Lady Luck at, at Admiral Zai's request. Good shooting. I think I remember seeing where Lady Luck was. She's stuck in the corner over here, right? Resend the invite. Let me see. Invite to party. Yo, 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 whoa, hey. Hello, Lady Luck. Okay. Luck be a lady. All right, great. Okay, Lady Luck challenges elite slayers to hunt powerful modified on two difficulties. Yeah, I'm not about to do that. But I did talk to her and I finished a quest, right? Alright, Admiral Zai, give me some guns, dude. Now what? Oh, I can make blizzard barrels! Nice! So I got a blizzard barrel. Oh, sweet. But I need like a thunder barrel, man. Oh, that's what I should do. Ha, ha. We should go fight. I should go fight some, um, I'm just gonna upgrade this blizzard barrel, why the heck not. I should go fight some electric base monsters, so that I get an electric base, like, gun, and then I could just shoot stuff. Repeater crafting, oh, saboteur is gr okay, launches an explosive mine. Oh, this is the buff. Okay, interesting, interesting, alright. Craft the blizzard barrel. Alright, so I got gen arrows. You guys have to Night Freaking Wolf? I don't know who Night Freaking Wolf is. Was there anyone over here? In the comments, Le relaunch in the game. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll invite this person. Cray Cray, Cray Ray. <laughs> invite to party. Blizzard Barrel. Okay, E. Reven, E. Reven joined the party. So now, th since I have a party, we can go Pursuit, we can go Terra Behemoth, and we can get the Kara back. I think that's how it works. I don't know, but I better go, uh, I better go get some of these other things too, right? Um... Unless, okay, consumables, we've got a blitz tonic, go the uh, bulwark tonic, match found, I don't know what match find means when I have three people in my so-called party, I need more grenades, barrage grenades, yeah dude, I like them, we're gonna use them. Why the heck not? Okay, so I got barrage grenades. I got an electric weapon. I got full on all the way across the sky item. 
Yeah, we're, I'm like all prepared to beat this thing up. <laughs> I just need everyone else to do it too. All right. So Chance Pike says, it's just finding an available server for us to play on. Okay, understood. Ultra Zazzlemare. Yeah, remember that game? Dude, Blasters? Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's play some Blasters. No, but I do like this game. This game is really cool. All right, so we got E. Reven. We got Jen Arrows and Nugman. Uh, give me your hands up emoji so I know your YouTube username. <laughs> because that's pretty cool that we're able to uh, figure that out. Okay, Dark Chaos Games is E. Reven. I don't know who the other two are, but... Okay, Chance Pike is Jen Arrows. All right. And then, is that Nathaniel? I don't, I don't know who the other person is. All right, let's go. That hair looks like my hair a little bit, although my hair's a little shorter. Yeah, big frame drop, what? All right. Here we go. see anything oh all you guys are over there all right I guess I'm coming are you guys already at it okay here we go okay so we do have Nugman Nugman doing some work looking like a bugman all right Nugman bugman let's go 940 what how are you doing so much damage Okay, some of you guys have been playing this game for a little bit. I see some four digit numbers over here, like what? Okay, obviously someone's real good in this game. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know who, but which one of you guys was it? <laughs> I tried, hey man. Wow, that's insane. Hey dude, that's good. I would much rather have that than me struggle with picking up a whole bunch of people. Dang. You guys were doing like 3,000 damage? How long have you guys been playing this game for? It's been out for a little bit, right? On other systems and PC? Dude, that was cool. That was awesome. Really strong earth electric setups. Yeah. I, you know, I can see myself like just playing this game, getting all these cool like um, weapons and armors and stuff like that. I think it'd be really cool. All right. All right. So Nathaniel has been playing since it came out. Blue Wolf been playing for three months. Cool, man. Oh, so there's a max level? Oh, that's interesting. All right, yeah, that's really good. Uh, so now I'm gonna go to uh, Priyani. I'm gonna come to Priyani really quick and then we're gonna see exactly what's going on over there. And then maybe we'll do another quest together. Okay, Behemoth Studies. Glad to see you're more or less unscathed. Yeah, it took me like three attempts, but we finally found some good hunters. 
All right, though, so there's some orbs, cool. Melting the ice, okay. Slay a normal frost behemoth with a blaze weapon. Slay a normal blaze behemoth with a frost weapon. Eh, I can do that. You have behemoths to slay. Okay, upgrade any weapon to plus five. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna allow it. My favorite slayer. Will he let me do that? Oh yeah, here we go. Cool. So I made it to plus five. And then upgrade a piece of armor from each slot to plus five. Dude, I'm already there. Hey, it's Nugman. Ah, <laughs> cool. I can see them running around. There we go. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Return to Cater and Sorel. Hey, there's that person. Yo, you're following me. Oh, cool. And we could do like Fortnite dances together. All right, you come a long way. Thank you so much. We did all that stuff. We get some Rams. We got a Bronze Slayer core. Cool. All right, Hunt Panger, Hellion, and Drask. All right, well, let's go. I'm ready. Let's go see what those monsters are. Hold on, there's a monster board right over here, isn't there? Yeah, I don't have to go all the way that way. Okay, we're gonna go to Blaze. Hellion, whoa. Frost weapons, Blaze armor. All right, we're gonna go Hellion. All right, so Hellion is frost weapons. I got the frost gun, but I need fire armor. So let's see if I can go with some fire armor. I think that's what this is, right? No, Shrike, fire armor. Yeah, fiery helm. Yeah, I need that. 22 seconds to get everything ready. Ah! Oh, I don't have any more stuff. Oh, it's fine. Whatever. All right. I'll just go into the, like, the item equip screen and we'll, we'll get it going. All right. Let's see how we do. Jonathan Hall, put you in, coach. What is your username in this game? I'll boot out the last player. We'll see. Here we go. All right, uh, equipment. We're gonna go with my ice guns. Oh, dude, Ossian Reapers, hold on. I, I thought I had ice guns. How does this work? Oh, here we go, Blizzard Barrel, yeah. Blizzard Barrel, oh, dude, that's so cool. All right, mobility. Let's go increase the max stamina, sure. Salvo chamber, yeah, that's fine. And then captain's grip, yeah, captain's grip is good. And I don't know what prisms or mods are yet, so this is good, acidic cell. All right, and then I need my uh, fire gear, right? Fire helm. And let's do this one. Fiery Breastplate. We're gonna do Fiery Gauntlets. And then I got Fiery Greaves. So I'm I'm pretty bulky. I got a lot of fire stuff. But uh yeah, I think I'm I think I'm ready. Let's go. Ah, uh, we got some good peeps. Okay, what's up, Dark Angels? Hello. Alright, let's go. If you see a flying fire thing, grab it. It'll give you an awesome buff. All right. I don't know, but let me see. I got this ice gun, though. I'm kind of excited about that. No, missed it. Oh. Does jumping make you go farther? 
Gen Arrows, how did you lose all that health so fast? Yo, E. Reven's already here. Let's go! Alright, I'm ready. Put me in, coach! Not too bad. Like, I like this. I like this a lot. 2,000 damage? Who did that? Man, that's a Mia Mama right there. This guy. Where'd he go? Oh, man. Oh, right on me. That's where he went. Oh, okay, great. Okay, yeah. Let me just uh, heal up a little bit here. Thank you. Ice shots all day, baby. Boom. Ice shots the leg. Oh, big tail whip. Okay, so that I don't understand. Someone tell me about that. How in the world... Are these like healing things coming out of him? Dude, I pressed dodge for invincibility frames, but it didn't work. Dude, that was awesome. That was real cool. Yo, repeaters? Ice shots? Kind of cool. Yeah, man. I got a D, but hey, you know what? I had fun. I don't know what this rank even matters. Like, why don't they break it down? Like, okay, how much damage you did compared to everyone else? How much damage you took versus everyone else? Why don't they do that? Uh, deal 50k damage with any reapers? Cool, dude. Did it. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Oh. Earth debuff causes boss to spit healing orbs. I have no idea what an earth debuff is. Like, is that something that a weapon does? Is that a lantern thing? <laughs> no way, man. No way. I think it's cool, though. Let's keep it up. We got a couple more, man. I think we can do a couple more. <laughs> okay, the Terra category weapons and damage will eventually debuff the boss. Interesting. Okay, so if you keep on using Terra weapons on a boss... They'll just, like, emit all of the the crazy amount of, like, healing orbs that just come at you? Dang. Hunt Pass. Unclaimed rewards. I don't honestly know how to claim the rewards from, from the Hunt Pass, so... What do you need? Okay, so where do we claim the rewards here? Can one... Oh, you press Y to claim rewards? Is that it? Heroic Vambraces, okay. Uh, okay, and you get a, a character title? All right, that's, is that what I wanted? Upgrade to Elite. Spending, 2,000 
275 in-game currency, premium currency. I have no idea how much that costs in real life, but you can do it, and you'll get that. Kind of cool. The hunt pass. Okay. You got some orchid dye. Uh huh. On the bounty, what is this? Is this a quest? Draft a bounty. Whatever. All right, let's go get a panger. I don't know what a panger is, but I want to go beat one up. And there's a hunt board over here. Yeah. Heralds of the storm. Panger time. Pursuit, Frost Behemoth, Panger. We need Blaze Weapons and Frost Armor. So Blaze Weapons, I wish I could have a Fire Shot. I hope I got some Fire Orbs or something that I could do this thing. Hot Shots and Cold Feats? Alright, oh, that's kind of cool. Inferno barrel. Oh man, come on! I want the inferno barrel. Ah, uh, lame. I'm gonna have to go with my neutral shots then. I wanted that. So Pengar is. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be going soon. Uh, Pengar's icy scale. So I need some frost armor, blaze weapons. I don't really have blaze weapons to be honest. I can use my regular old repeaters though. Aether orbs. What? Accept it. Alright, whatever. We're out of here soon. We're gonna go knock out that thing. So we need, what? Fire weapon? Fire weapon, ice armor. Or just neutral. And we should be alright. We should be alright. You know what I do miss, though? I miss mounting. I do miss mounting. Is that in this game? We're gonna mount on top of them and just like. Ksh, 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 ksh. Oh, is that? Oh, man. All right, so I'm gonna go change in some equipment up here. I need some blaze weapons. Or we just do the Ostean Reapers without the Blizzard Barrel. I'll just go regular. Like, I can do that. I don't really have a good. No, I do have a fire weapon. I do. I do. Right? Don't I have a, an Ember Pike? Yeah. Let's go Ember Pike. We're going to Ember Pike. I'm going to do... Um, Boreal. We're going to do Boreal. Uh, Boreal. So you guys are saying no mounting. All right, all right. No mounting. Great. How do I look? I think I look good. I'm ready to go. Fire, fire pike. Uh, hunt the charog if you want the materials for the fire shots. All right, cool, cool. Enraging gives more damage on some behemoths. Faster attacks uh, of staggerable moves when red appears. Got it. We're going to keep going, man. Let's keep it up. All right. Squish. Oh, look at that guy with the with the horns, man. It's kind of cool. Run. Okay. Whoosh. I did see that friend request come through. Uh, we should switch up party members. Get some more people on board. It's a little hard though, like knowing your Epic Games name versus like your YouTube username. Holy moly. Is this the bird thing again? Recolored bird? Whoa, okay. That was uh, kind of scary. All right, loaded one up. Loaded a 16% up, not too bad. I 
I pressed it though. I pressed it. Did that even fire? I don't even know, man. Oh. Yeah, 818, not bad. Boom, big shot. That's cool. Wow, big smack. There's got to be like a way of, of teching that attack. Is, is there not? Like if you get owned. Oh, we won. Anyway. Like, if you get hit, is there not a way of, like, pressing a button to get up faster? I remember there was something like that in Monster Hunter. <laughs> yeah, I remember there was something like that. Um, but, I don't know, I can't tell you. That would be really cool. You can deal bleed damage with the pike? Oh, that's kind of cool. Well, that was easy. Man, you guys are... You guys are... Making me skate on through this game, huh? Okay, let's continue on. Uh, I think we're gonna switch in a new person. Uh, give me a username that hasn't played yet and I'll just send you an invite and you can jump in the group. I think Jonathan Hall, you were saying you were talking uh, that you wanted to play? Give me that username though. Because you have to send me a friend request on Epic Games, and then through the friend request list, I could send you an invite. Which is interesting. It's one way of doing it, and it's worked, which is beautiful. As long as it works, I can care less. Alrighty, alrighty, here we go. Uh, tsunami Sumo. Tsunami Sumo. All right, so I'm going to, I can like, can I boot people? Is that how that works? Okay, so I can boot one person off, right? Kick from party. And then I can key, I can put you in invite to party. And then I think that works. I don't know. You don't get offended if I kicked you off, so. You guys got some pretty good, uh, some maps with me. All right, let, let's try that out. Okay, so invite to party. Party invite sent to Tsunami Sumo. And let's see. If you're online and ready to go, let me know. If not, I'm going to grab another person. Hey, Maddie. I don't know who Maddie is. Okay, so nothing there. Yeah, Nathaniel Roblox, dude. Hey, thanks for playing. You did an awesome job. All of you guys did. I really want to learn what this stuff is, though. Like, whatever she's talking about, like, doing these, like, super moves or whatever. I think that that's very interesting. Yeah, there we go. Tsunami Sumo's in the house. All right, cool, cool. Let's go. We're going to do the next one which is going to be a shock behemoth. It's going to be the Drask. Use a Terra weapon and use shock armor. I don't have any Terra weapons, do I? I don't think I have any shock armor. So let's go buy some shock armor. Oh, I have it here. Drask scale helmet. No, I got some of them. Lantern charge from attacks. Oh, dude, that's real good. Oh, I don't have the stuff though. I don't have like the middle item of the material, so I guess that stinks. Um, it's Terra Wep Terra Weapons? What was the thing? Terra Weapons and Shock Armor. 
All right, let's see. 25 seconds to get a Terra weapon. Like this Crafting. Uh, I can do a Terra sword, right? Here we go. This is called a Thundering Blade. Wait, I do have Thundering. No. I guess Thundering Cutters are worth the, um, the thing. I could equip it. I have them. So I guess I'm going Cutters. It's interesting. There's a little bit of a learning curve, for sure, with finding out what weapon suits the best kind of play style. Just like any other monster hunting game. And I think that it, it's really... I like the friends list. This is interesting to me. Nintendo does not have like a, a such a good infrastructure with friends lists and just adding people on a sidebar. Like Nintendo needs to take notes on that stuff. I don't think they do though, but... Okay, my weapon power, a Terra weapon, is a 260 right now. With the Thundering Cutters, not even good enough. And I need some, uh, let's see. I need some Shock Armor. Terra Armor down, though. I don't think I have Shock Armor. Is there not a Jurassic scale? I was going to say, is there not a, like, an auto-equip me... Like, with the best loadout possible, is there not a button that automatically does that? Because this is getting a little tiresome. Jurassic Scale Helmet. Boreal Resolve. Fiery Breastplate. Fiery Gauntlets. You can save loadouts, and you could do the two loadouts. Yeah, I guess the two loadouts thing is great and all. But I'm looking for a uh, auto equip. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Okay, here we go. Fight him, man. That guy looks like me. It's weird. <laughs> Why does he look like me? All right, moving on. What weapon am I using? Oh, I don't even remember. Oh, I'm using the uh, the blades. How in the world are you going so fast up there? Boom, boom. It's like, it's almost like Mario Kart. Taking these tight turns. Yo, look at this guy. Oh, I'm ready. a little sidestep. Alright, dude's kind of stunned here. Curious. Whoa, someone sent me a friend request. BWA Switch? Who is that? Boom! Oh, I died. I didn't realize I died. I'm sorry. I was not paying attention. Two thousand damage? How are you guys doing that? Ooh. 
Done. Is he done? No, he's not done. Okay. Crazy, man. Ugh. Oh, yeah, hold on. I gotta put my weapons away. Hello! Oh, dude, nice flare! Oh, come on. Oh wait, that's a little healing pulse? Oh man. Yo, dude's rolling me. All right, GG's. <laughs> I'm just slicing away at this dead monster. Drask slain. Okay, so let me ask you this. After you get the KO, E rank. After you get the KO, is there any point of like slashing the monster? Do you get like the parts off or anything like that? Or is it just kind of like, hey, you're done? Yeah, I don't know. You let me know. There's nothing, there's no point in slashing the monster after KO, right? <clears throat> Alright. So that's when you just bust out your emotes and dance. Just like in Fortnite. It's cool, man. The more I play this game, the more it's warming up to me. You know what I mean? Like, I can just hang out here with you guys. I just be like, yo, let's hunt some monsters, man. Let's go. Yeah, monsters. I wish the loading times were a little bit, uh, a little bit quicker, though. But whatever. <laughs> Gotta get on board. Gotta get on board. Keep going, guys. Download the game. Play along with level 9 right now. Return to Katerin Sorrel. Here we go, Katerin, I got you. Hell of a job, Good work. We're picking up the ways of that. And we got some silver cores. Okay, dire warnings. Oh, wow. We got a lot more. A lot more quests from this lady. Woo! Alright, so there should be another, like, summoning orb thing here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we do have some orb things. Uncommon Slayer orb. I don't know these are knockout king permanent increase to stagger damage cool pulling on the pipe Lo whoa, whoa whoa cool cool loosen cell flask heals over time and generates lantern charge that's really cool oh a rare one guys here we go the rare loot box where did i get this from i don't know Oh, dang. Okay. Increases damage, uh, adds a flat amount damage, and more increases damage against enraged behemoths. Cool. And a silver rare one. Whoa. All right, here we go. Overpowered pacifier. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. That's kind of cool. All right. You guys ready for another one? We're going to go to the Rockfall Skarn. Or Firebrand Chirag. Yeah, let's go Firebrand Chirag. Yeah. Alright, let's go beat a couple more monsters. You guys are really cool about this, so this is making things a lot easier. Here we go. Pursuit. Blaze Behemoths. Firebrand Chirag. And I'm gonna bring my Blaze Armor. And you guys know all about that. Alright, so we're good on that. And maybe I can get some stuff. Like, I'm gonna bring my guns, too. Like, I want I want that stuff. Alright, so... I guess I'm gonna get my stuff ready. I'm gonna go with the guns. The repeaters. Because I like them. And I'm gonna do the ice barrel. Because it's awesome. Mobility is gonna be... Hmm... Yeah, that's fine. Technique cell. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. And let's do... I don't have mod or prisms. So I guess I need to go over there and find out if this guy's starting to sell that stuff yet. Looking radiant. Good luck. 
No. Ah. <laughs> I could have upgraded it a little bit. No, I like it. I like it a lot. But like, isn't there another gun too? Like, what's the what's the weapon that I'm missing here? There should be something that's missing. Yeah, dude, the game is out. The game is out. Get it today. Download, play along with. Halo Trooper. Oh, you're here to play along with? All right, cool. Maybe I'll uh, boot someone out. Dude, this game is real fun. <laughs> Wee. All right, so I need some. Uh, I need some Blaze armor. I don't know if I got any Blaze armor, but I've been sitting at this for a while. Blaze armor. I got a frost weapon, but it's not good. Here we go. Blaze armor. Blaze armor. I got a fiery helm. I got a fiery blast plate, fiery gauntlets, boreal march. Let's do um, pillars of stone. No thanks. Fire greaves. Yeah, we'll do those. And I didn't put any mobility cells on them, so we might as well. Another mobility cell? Sure, whatever. This one is a uh, technique cell, uh, blade storm, very nice. And this one is fiery greaves. I'll just slap on warmth, chilled, frozen. Uh, this guy's a fire dude, right? Increase max health. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, so I'm a little bit better, but my gun's kind of garbage. So, oh, we're going. Okay, whatever. Oh man. Okay. Uh, behemoths have different places that they can be hit and will give you different parts from that behemoth. So like Charog, if I were to cut the tail, uh, I will get that part that is only from the tail. Interesting. Okay, well, good to know. I will keep that in mind. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, I'm not using... Whoa, yeah, those guns. Yeah, those guns though. What's the frame rate like? Well, you guys can tell the frame rate here. Um, it it doesn't seem like um like a 60 FPS for sure. It feels like a 30 if anything. Sometimes even like a 20. I wonder what these little things are. Oh, immune to burning? That's what that is? Cool. Yeah, threw away There's so many grenades at that dude. Yo, let me pick up my buff. I think that the repeaters are definitely, whoa, hey, are definitely a more uh, beginner friendly weapon for sure. Because you can just stand around uh, towards the back and just fire these shots. And not really have to worry about getting like your hands dirty. And you could still like help out. It's definitely beginner friendly. Like, it reminds me when I used to play Monster Hunter, like the bow, the bow and arrow. Yo, give me those. Yo, can a guy get some of those? Dang, dude, this guy's all over the place with this fire. Wow. Yo, I'm straight burnt. 
Not dying though. Oh my gosh, I'm burnt. Do I roll to get it off? Yeah, stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> wow, dude. Wow, enraged monster. Just knock me the heck out. Not too bad. Thumbs up. Oh, you guys put the flag down? That's kind of cool. <laughs> That's like the emote where you put the flag down. Boom. I wasn't too bad. I think, I think I'm getting D rank because like I'm not doing as much damage as like everyone else on my team. But I thought I was doing decent with uh, just keeping the firepower, keeping at a distance. Throwing out the buff, picking up the buff, using the supercharged shot, balancing the different lantern attacks. Dude, I'm down, man. Stop, drop, and roll, man. That was real good. Yeah, Dark Chaos Games uh, suggests that we should take a look at who else wants to play. I'm down for doing a couple more runs with some good peeps. All right, make sure you guys send me a friend request on Epic Games. I don't know how you do that. You guys play Fortnite. You guys can figure out how to send me a request. <laughs> um, but yeah, we can we can do that. Uh, let me know if you have a username, an Epic Games username that when you want to jump in one of these rounds, let me know. I'll call it out and then I'll boot someone accordingly from our room and then go from there. Woohoo! Lil Rambo. Lil Rambo? Alright, you gotta send me the request though. Like, add friends. I gotta have you over here. I don't see any Lil Rambo. So you have to send me a request. Otherwise, if you don't, then we're just gonna call it. And we're going to hunt these next monsters. Okay, here we go. We're going to do the next one. Uh, next one is going to be Terra Behemoth. It's going to be the Rockfall Skarm. Oh, dang. Difficult based on current loadout. Ooh. Let's try the uh, neutral. Nasher. Level 9? I don't know, man. We're going to have to try it. All right, here we go. Rockfall Skarm. Uh, we're going. Yeah, Rockfall rock fall Scarnet, it is. He needs a shock weapon and Terra armor. I got full on Terra armor. I just need a shock weapon. We should speak. Do I have a shock weapon? Oh, yeah, dude. Sylvan Barrel. Nice. Here's my shock weapon. Oh, we're going all in on shock. Dang, look at that. All right, give me Saboteur's Grip. I want to try it. Salvo Chamber, Marksman Chamber. There's some more things involved with it that's very intriguing to me. Get ready. Let's go. Hello. Howdy. All right. 
I need a different loadout. I'm gonna unready really quick. Let me just load out my stuff. So we're gonna go with the Sight of Stone. Defensive cell of... I don't know, here. Warmed cell, whatever. Uh, we're gonna go the Heart of Stone, defensive cell, shock resist, sure. We're gonna go... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Fiery Greaves. Okay, and then we're gonna go Reapers. We're gonna change this out to the Fire Shot. Sylvan Barrel, oh, this is the electric, yeah, dude. Oh, dude, we are so green, look at that. Look at down the scope. Uh, we're gonna do a different grip. Sevator's grip, my, ah, oh, no. Come on, man. <laughs> I guess you should have your loadout ready before going into a mission, but. Whew. Yeah, hey, Blue Wolf, thanks for answering all those questions. Yeah, if you guys have any questions about the game, feel free to ask them in the comments and we'll try to get them answered. Uh, I don't know too much about the game, but I'm learning. This is like my first day playing it. And I already uh, have learned a lot about it, which is real fun, so. Ask away your questions. We we're running. Oh, you guys are all the way over there, huh? All right, I saw someone shoot a flare that way. Okay, here we go. Game time, boys. All right, this guy we've kind of seen before. That's kind of annoying. His little turtle spin. Just like launching grenades at this dude. Okay. Okay, that's his tail. What is this like um, little stick here?
Okay, so I get owned by that. Whatever the heck that is. Get up, dude! Oh, he's done. Man! <laughs> uh, you guys knock him out way easy. E rank. Ouch. Dude, my repeaters, it just doesn't feel like I'm doing a lot of work. Maybe, I don't know. It feels like I'm just not doing a lot of work with the repeaters. Maybe I should try a new weapon. I don't know. I like the repeaters a lot. Sylvan Barrel, Captain's Grip, Salvo Chamber, um, maybe. Okay, that stick was a healing beacon. Uh, regenerate some uh, health in an area. Okay, that's kind of cool. So, uh, what, would, what would you guys say is like the best weapon then? It's subjective between player to player, I know. But, uh, yeah, what's good? What's good out there? Like, I really like the dual blades because it feels like you're doing a lot of cool work. And it's a good change of pace. I think that the the repeaters from a distance just shooting shots and like staying away is like for beginners for sure. Uh, war pikes uh, for everything and for the mobility. Yeah, the war pike is kind of cool. Yeah, what's good for end game? I don't know, like hammers, axes. I didn't really get the hammer last time. The hammer was like a shotgun, wasn't it? Like, you do some attacks and then you press R to like reload it or something. Uh, yeah, it's weird. It's weird. I think we're gonna do, we're gonna do two more monsters and then we're gonna call it. We're gonna do the Shrike and the Nasher and then we're gonna call it a live stream. So let's go do that. Shrike and the Nasher, I can leave my armor on right now and we should be able to go get them. All right, so I want some repeater crafting. Like, I want to try the saboteur's grip. I did actually get it. Salvo chamber, marksman chamber. Fire shot in a line dealing 250. Uh, if the part is struck, yeah, whatever. Marksman chamber, sure. Oh, these are the prisms. Interesting. After dodging, drop one ice mine around you in a 30 second cooldown. Oh, super cool. The last four shots of your magazine generate frost sprites that grant your next attack. Whoa, that's cool. Refreshing health shield that lasts for 20 seconds. Uh, dealing damage is a chance of, yeah. Oh, I don't have it. I don't have that either. Ah, wait, Jen Arrows left the party. Oh, dude, you left right when we were about to leave or go to a next one. Wah, wah. It's gonna be a three person hunt. All right, well, let's see. Hey, thanks for playing either way. Chance, thanks for hanging out. All right. So, now that and then there were 3, and then that's going to be it. Okay, no worries, no worries. We're all good. Thanks for hanging out. All right, let's take a look at equipment. Uh, I'm underleveled by everything. You see that, right? So Austin Reapers, we're gonna go uh, Salvo Chamber, Captain's Grip. I wanna try the new one, Saboteur's Grip. I'm gonna try that out. Salvo Chamber, I'm gonna try out the new Marksman Chamber. And then I did buy a Prism, didn't I? I couldn't, no, I can't mod it, no. All right, so I'm not gonna be doing so good on weapon and output damage. Sylvan Barrel. Blizzard barrel, standard barrel. Yeah, we might as well. It's a neutral enemy, right? All right. Looking for that hard carry, man. Looking for that hard carry. Let's fight. All right. Halo Trooper 13, you're in our last round. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Three people. Can we take on the monster? Hey, Blue Wolf, thanks for hanging out, man. Thanks for helping answer all the questions that we had. 
Yeah! Nice. Alright, following you, dude. The monster is this way. Yo, platforming skills. Oh, man. Very close. Hey. That's way too far. Oh, good. Yeah. Like playing Mario over here. So, I have a couple new things now. X and Y. Interesting. One's a bomb, and one's a, an arrow. I'm very excited to see what these are. Oh, you guys already fighting? Uh, I should go join you. I fell down in a crevice. Okay, so someone tagged the monster. It's 104 meters away. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to try this Y button. Okay, it's just a shot. Is that a proxy mine? What does that do? Okay, hold on. Wounded. Did something. Yeah, I don't really know what this does. Anyone want to elaborate? Oh, dang! I like that. I like that better than the captain's thing. Oh, man. That hurts. Oh, yo! Big tail smack! Alright, alright. I see ya. Wow! All of my health gone! Let me drink this uh, aether really quick. Hey, that's not fair, man. I was getting a drink. Dude! I pressed the X button, or the A button. Alright. Dead again. Dang. Alright, so that healing area is pretty cool. I'm just gonna chill inside here for a little bit. How many of those do you put down? That's so that's such a cool thing. Is that a lantern? What is he doing? Oh my gosh. There we go. What is that? Okay, I need to figure that out. All right. <laughs> I've put like some sort of target on him. With that marksman thing. But I need to figure it out what it does, what exactly it does. And if I like keep on shooting that spot, maybe.
Yeah, that healing, love it. If this guy would just let me up. Hey, where's he going? That's cheap. What does this do if you stand in it? Heal you up or something? All right, whatever. I'm out. <laughs> All right, so dude buried himself. Oh, there he is. Cool flare, man. Yo, we're playing with some cool people here. Check this out. Yep. Yeah, I guess if I if I end up marking him on a certain area and I keep on shooting it, it deals more damage. Wow. My guy, hello. Headshot, almost. Alright, so it's safe to say I gave 50 damage, 50,000 damage to a, um, a behemoth already. That's pretty cool. And see, I wonder if, if I'm able to target this guy and then the other players use that target, <clears throat> do they also uh, do work? There we go, that's my emote. <laughs> Was that the, no, that wasn't the last run. We said we we're gonna do one more. <clears throat> oh, it's cool though, man. All right, here we go. Halo Trooper, you ready? Dude, I got two epic rage souls all the way up top over there. Kind of cool. All right, last one. GG's. And then we all sit and talk. We talk about the game and what we think about it. But for playing it for three and a half hours, dude, it's a cool game. It's a cool game for sure. You do more damage when you shoot the target. I like that a lot. I like that better than just randomly firing out two shots. So I think that that's a little bit better. Cause it takes a little more, uh, a little bit more accuracy and skill. Yeah, I'm totally down for that. Here we go. All right, here we go. Moon Reaver Shrike is who we're looking for now. Moon Reaver Shrike. And then I have to, hold on, I gotta add someone first. Hold on, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this, we're, uh, what was the name of it? Halo Trooper, here we go. Halo Trooper, invite to party. Once Halo Trooper joins us, then we're gonna go from there. Complete before the dawn, complete bring on the night, craft and equip armor with a total of 350. Yeah, Halo Trooper's in the house. All right, so Halo Troopers in the... This is cool. I can pick and choose who's inside my room. I love this so much. My goodness, is that awesome. All right, Saboteur's Grip. Explosive Mine. Mm, when Charged. Interesting. Yeah, Captain's Grip. Captain's Grip. I like the buff. 
But I like this too. Yeah, I like the captain's grip. Marksman chamber? Oh, is real good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fire is a shot in the line, dealing 250 for the first behemoth hit. If a part is struck, that takes 40 more damage for 10 seconds. Yeah, I like Marksman a lot. And then I don't have any of these things uh, to make prisms. So, no, that's real cool. So, like, even if I put the target reticle on the boss, the end, uh, my teammates can also strike that boss and get a little bit more added damage, too. So that's great. It's like a, it's like a team buff. Super cool, man. Super, super cool. All right, here we go. The last hunt. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. So then I guess there's uh, the question of... Oh my gosh, what the heck? Hold on. Yeah, my weapon power, these Reapers, are probably not good. Damage strike. All right, Austin Reapers, give me the Marksman. Marksman Chamber is good. Saboteur is grip. I don't know if I like the... I'm just going to go with the buff. I think the buff's a little bit better. And then the Sylvan Barrel is fine. It's just Terra damage, so I guess this is good. Perk Summary. And Consumables, I don't think I have another thing on there. Yeah, I used all my grenades. All right, yeah, I think I'm good. I'm not the strongest. My armor is not on par. We're subpar for this battle. So we're relying a lot on the cool players such as uh, I won't fold. <laughs> Take that person to the laundromat. And he just sits there. He's like, nope, not folding any of this laundry. I'm just going to bunch it on up and throw it in the laundry basket. Do not fold. Very anti-fold here. All right, I won't fold. Let's see what you got. Yeah! All right, here we go. Boing. All right, so we're taking a different path this way. Oh, look at me struggling out here. All right, let's go. Slayer's Boon. Oh, dang, there it is. Okay, here we go. Halo Trooper left the party. What? Who's that? Who's Halo Trooper? Which one's that? Shoot him in the leg. All right, here we go.
Oh, man. I was expecting the little healing things to heal me up. I'm like, oh, I don't need to eat a little potion. I'm good. Dang. Right in the leg. There's the marksman shot. There we go, trying to buff up the teammates with a little bit of an attack buff. There we go. Missed. He's at half health, not too bad. Those lighting effects are pretty bright. There we go. Look at that. Heal me. Guys flying all over the place. I can't imagine if I didn't have a ranged weapon how annoying this battle would be. Because you're just waiting for it to land. Dude, I was nowhere near that attack. Alright, whatever. I'm coming. Not too bad. Way to go, team. That way. I was about to do the that way emote. I don't even know what it looks like, but someone put the, the stake right inside him. Alright, E-Rank, regardless, still had a fun time. And we still get the rewards. Interesting. Whoa, this thing's kind of glitched on the screen. Alright, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Captain's Grip got a little bit of experience there. Uh, got some common rams, 240 of them. We got a lot of rams, so. I'm literally pressing the Y button here, but I think since I glitched the, the thing, I gotta wait. <laughs> All right. All right. No, I do not have a creator code. I don't know what that is. I think that's like a partnered thing with Epic Games. No, we haven't done that yet. But um, yeah, Epic Games did hook me up with a brand, uh, with like not a brand new version of it, but like I was able to play this yesterday before the game came out on Nintendo Switch. And it's actually pretty fun. So let me know in the comments, what do you guys think of the game? Uh, let's talk about it. Let's spend the next couple moments thinking about uh, what we enjoyed 
what we would have liked to have seen and whether or not you're going to pick up the game. And I don't see why you wouldn't. It's absolutely free. It doesn't cost you a single thing in order to actually play along with. You just use the link in the description. You guys can get that on Xbox, PlayStation 4, and PC. So, no, it's super fun, man. Super fun. Not hard to learn at all. There's a little intricacies about each weapon that you'll have to overcome, but that's just with experience. And then if you just watch me play this, then you already know everything that I know about like throwing some different things and learning about the different lore and all the different characters and like this little overworld hub. There's a lot of things about this game. And like, I've just scratched the surface of what there is for this game. And there's a whole battle pass concept, which I showed you guys earlier that you can purchase with real money, get some cool rewards on it. But like overall, with the amount, with the three and a half hours that I played without spending a dime on it, without getting a free copy from um, from Epic Games, like, I can see myself playing this game for sure. Oh, man. That was cool. That was cool. Let me know. What did you guys think? Jonathan Hall, what do you think of the game? Aaron, what do you think? Um, Link Forever says, uh, one problem I have with the game is your Switch fan goes crazy loud. Yeah, I guess. The fan does try to keep it from overheating, sure. But you can wear headphones to alleviate that. You won't even hear it. Um, or if you're playing in docked mode, I don't hear a single peep out of my Nintendo Switch right now. So, it's interesting. All right, and then these are some other people here. Yeah, oh, big flag. I think I got that emote too, don't I? No, I did not. So I go, nope. Is that my thing? Like, I could say nope right here? No. You could choose your emotes, which is kind of cool. And who the heck is this? Is this person on my stream? Or he's just like... <laughs> All right. No, it's really fun. Yeah, yeah. Thumbs up. And you can spin in a circle. Is that, is that like the emote thing that people do here? Is spin a circle and then um, like do your little that way emotes? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for it. All right. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Dauntless. If you guys want to see me play more of this in the future, I would be more than happy to uh, go through, download the game, get yourself acquainted, get yourself to like level five, level six, even level 10, whatever. Uh, just so that you kind of understand what exactly is going on in the game so that you're not necessarily a liability on someone's team. There's a lot of things that you can do in order to alleviate that. And of course, I'm sure there's lots of people that want to play online with you to kind of help out. It's super fun. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. Again, if you'd like to see more of this, be sure to hit that like button. If we get enough likes in the video, then that shows me that you'd like to see even more uh, when the game comes out. Um, the game is already out on Nintendo Switch, dude. You can play it on all the concepts or all the games. What are we doing here? <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm trying to run gonna go hang out over here now just gonna go hide on top of this thing yeah there we go anyway we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching have a great rest of your day see ya